In today's video, I spent over 100 days in my hardcore world building the ultimate creeper Statue of Liberty with a massive high production creeper farm inside of it. This project was originally meant to be my episode 3 of the hardcore series, but it ended up taking a ridiculous amount of time because of the immense amount of resources that I was going to need to finish such a job. From ultra efficient sand and concrete powder dupers to the tens of thousands of other blocks that I needed to get, along with some some pretty exciting surprises along the way, this video has it all. And if you do go on to enjoy it, then it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed because we are so close to 500k. Also, don't forget to drop a like down below. If this video gets to 20,000 likes, I will do episode 4. And one last thing, you should totally go follow my Twitter because it is a great place to see sneak peeks for videos and see updates about my channel along with the other dumb things that I typically share on there. Thank you all for everything that you do for me. Now now on to episode 3. All right, here we are in our beautiful hardcore world. And you maybe noticed something different this time. I have shaders now. Just look at how good this world looks with shaders. Isn't that just so pretty? And we also got this custom sky, which may have been last episode. I don't know. Today we are going to make ourselves a creeper farm because I need gunpowder. Since we got our Apollinaire's wings, beautiful elytra, I now need gunpowder so we can actually fly said elytra. And to get gunpowder, I've got quite a lot of things that I'm going to need. I'm going to need sand for the gunpowder, lots of gravel, a ton of concrete powder, which is made from sand and gravel, and I'm going to need dye for said concrete powder to make a bunch of different red colors, green colors, grays, and whites. But first, in the last video, I did mention that I was going to name all of our doggo friends here, and let's go ahead and do that. But not until after I go to sleep, so I don't have to deal with any of the mobs, because I'm not a big fan of that. Let me sleep. Let me sleep. All right, it is now a new day, and let's go ahead and get ourselves three name tags. I'm not sure if I actually got any of my librarians up to the right level to even get the name tags, but we're about to find out. Maybe if I'm lucky, they'll just be one inside one of these dump chests. Uh, no, but we got some gunpowder. I will be needing gunpowder right off the bat, so that way I can use it to make ourselves some fireworks because I need fireworks now so we can go find a nice, you know, place to get some sand and gravel. Boom. Boom, boom. Three fresh, never frozen name tags. All right, we have three different comments here that will be on the screen for all three of the names. So first up, we have the beautiful name Snivy based on the starter from Pokemon Black and White. Thank you for the amazing comment. It was super nice. Next comment we got is Fenrir, which is actually a name that we've already used on the channel before. So we got Fenrir. Thank you for the comment. And then finally, we have Ducky for this super nice comment that they left. And again, if you guys want to have your own mobs that are named with their own custom colors and name tags for whichever mob you want, then go ahead and leave comments down below and maybe you will be the person to have them in the next video. But for now, I've got some of the dyes. I actually am missing the green dye. So for now, Snivy is not going to be named. I am so sorry, Snivy. But let's get back and give them their names. The blue one is named Fenrir. That's Snivy. And then we got Ducky, which is the yellow one. Fenrir, we're going to make you Ducky and give you a yellow one. And then you will have a green one in the future, but for now, I don't have one. Ironically, I need green anyways, so you will be named. Don't worry. You will get your green color. So now that we have all of our dogs named, I'm actually going to get our inventory kind of situated because we're going to need ourselves a Silk Touch pickaxe, which for some reason I don't have on me. And we're going to need ourselves a shovel. And then we're going to place ourselves one of these bad boys right here. Oh, I, I completely forgot that all this stuff was in here. Wow, okay. Um, We're going to do the shulker boxes. We're going to set up our shulker boxes real quick. Two red shulkers. I am so disorganized. This is so disorganized. I hate it. All right, so inside of our shulker, we've got our two red. We've got our two blues. We're going to get ourselves one more yellow. So that way we can have two yellow shulker boxes. And then for now, the last two will just remain the ugly purple because I don't have space for them.
All right, so it's actually the next day. I organized my inventory a little bit and I kind of got together things that I would need. Um, I looked everywhere. So we've got 18 gunpowder and three sugarcane. That's all we have are fireworks, which is going to be extremely problematic. I don't know what we're going to do there. But for now, we're going to get ourselves a new pickaxe and a new shovel. I have all these pickaxes like everywhere, but I don't have a silk, I don't have a silk touch one. I have your mother, the hoe. Fun fact, I also don't have wood. I got the wool to make a bed so I can take it with me. I left myself nothing. What is wrong with me? I spent it all on these nerds. All right, let's get some emeralds out of here and we're probably gonna need a trade. So hopefully some of these guys will take my sticks. I'm going to need efficiency five and unbreaking. Actually, where'd mending guy go? I will take a second mending book so we can get a shovel. We have our unbreaking guy offering them for the beautiful price of basically free. My favorite price, I love that. I know I have one. Oh! Wait, is that a- there's a creep- there's creepers over there. There's mobs spawning. What? It's a thunderstorm! We can get skeleton riders! Alright, focus. Focus. First. Boom. Efficiency 5. I need two of those. Let's go! It's 1.19, so my stick traders actually work! Not you. You're- you're still broken, which is fine. Alright, we got what we needed. Uh, efficiency 5. Cool. Alright, so we got efficiency 5. We have our silk touch. Um, silk touch for the shovel would be nice as well, but I don't know if any of these guys actually sell silk touch. Do any of you want to sell me silk touch? Sharpness? Alright, any- I don't think anyone's selling me silk touch. That's fine. We still got exactly what we need. Let me make sure this creeper actually- Let's go take Orphan Obliterator out for a nice swing. Let's get this creeper. Come here, man. Yes, gunpowder. We have any horses out here? No, but we do have mobs. That was a crisp, crunchy kill. Those are my favorite kinds of kills. Ah, oh, man. Nothing is better than, like, the having the best sword in Minecraft. Like, this thing? So good. And we're gonna go down here. Get this other creeper, I guess, because we're desperate for gunpowder. Alright, so we have 25 gunpowder. It's not the best, but I mean, you know, it could do. Alright, so apparently no more strikes of lightning want to happen right now. And I don't have a trident to go mob head hunting. So we're actually just going to go to sleep so no creepers do any damage. Alright, perfect. No more creepers. Let's make the pickaxe first. So we're going to first give the pickaxe... I'm breaking three. Efficiency five. My anvil just broke. Ah, uh, dude, come on. It's the first, come on. All right, we have unbreaking three, efficiency five, silk touch, and mending. And now, only 21 levels. That's not bad. All right, so we got our pickaxe with all of its enchantments for 21 levels, and I thought of the absolute perfect name. We're gonna call this bad boy, Can't Silk Touch This. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That's such a dumb name. I love it so much. Now we just need ourselves a good shovel. If I had another efficiency four, I'd just give it that. But uh, for now, efficiency five and breaking three and... Oh man, if I give it... This is just gonna not have Silk Touch. That's gonna be it. I hope I have enough to enchant one of these. Cost 13. So we just need a little bit of capitalism. Hello, my fine sirs. You're broken. Ah, man of culture. Beautiful. Exactly what I need. Enjoy the pit that you live in that you call home. All right, so we are enchantments for our shovel. And we're going to give this one the beautiful name Dirt Dispatcher because alliteration is key to a good name if you otherwise don't have one. All right, so we got our beautiful bow now. We have our axe, sword. We have our silk touch and our fortune pickaxes. And we have our new dirt dispatcher shovel so we're pretty much set to go i just need sugarcane now and you know what while we're at it oh i wait i haven't leveled up my farmer oh no that awkward moment when you haven't leveled up your farmer and you need a source of good food that you don't have i do have cows cookies are not good i am sorry farmer give me what i want golden carrots one for golden carrots so we got some golden carrots now and as much as I'd love to keep trading, I actually don't have any wood to make sticks to even trade for more food sources. So for now, for now, we're just going to grab ourselves a red shulker, plop this guy down. And unfortunately, we're going to take along this, these bad sources of food. And we're going to save the golden carrots for last. So we got some cooked pork chops. We got bread. We got all this stuff, which I mean, it'll probably be good enough, you know? All right. So now that we have all of that situated, there are a couple of things that we're going to need to start gathering. One, I need sand. Lots of sand. Two, I need gravel. Three, I need more sugar cane so I could make a farm for the sugar cane in the first place. And we also need cactus. So we got to find ourselves a desert. What is that? Is that a, there's no way it's a desert. 
No way. Uh, I honestly don't know. All right, honestly, on the way over, I can't resist this pile of cows because I am so desperate for food. And when I eventually go to make like some kind of storage system, I will need lots of leather. So you know what? I'm sorry, cows. It's just natural selection. You should not have been near me. Natural selection strikes at any time. It could affect you too in the comments. All right, and lucky enough, this is not a desert. We do have a pretty sizable amount of sand though. So we could do this one of two ways. I could either one, completely demolish whatever desert I find, or two, use the end portal to duplicate sand and gravel. I think I'm gonna be doing number two anyways because we need concrete powder and concrete powder is expensive to make. Oh, looky here. Should I start a raid? Oh, okay, never mind. The raid captain just died on his own. I like how the game decided for me. I could have started a raid in my own village. Game was like, nope, you can't have that. Ooh, look at the cave system down there. All right, the sun went down, and honestly, since I'm out here, there's a lot of creepers, let's get a couple of quick kills before going over to find ourselves some uh, sugar cane. And then once we have that, we can just make, you know, some fireworks for our elytra, and we can find a desert the real way. And of course, the second I say this, it starts raining. There's more zombies than there are creepers. There's a witch. Okay, this simple little creeper hunt has turned into an army following me. Oh, that actually jump scared me. You not- Oh, no, no, no. Really? Go on. Explode. Explode. Jerk. Really? What a guy, man. All right, so it seems like every 10 seconds in this world it wants to rain, but last night did go pretty well. I got this beehive full of bees with Silk Touch for future project, and I managed to get out of there with 64 plus an additional 16 stacks gunpowder. We also apparently got a stack of steaks. I killed a whole bunch of cows. Looting three be hitting different. Anyways, though, today we're gonna grab some sugarcane because we're gonna make fireworks. And once we have our fireworks, we can go find ourselves a desert and begin collecting lots of sand and gunpowder. So I do know there was a couple couple bits of sugarcane laying around this back area. I need a couple of stacks, to be honest. I need enough to make a solid amount of paper. And I also need to make a sugarcane farm as well, so that way we can, you know, really start to push the boundaries of what we've got. There's some over there by a crafting table I apparently placed. So honestly, let's, I guess, go start over there. All right, now that I'm over here, there are a couple of other bits of sugarcane here and there. And I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is we'll just grab a couple of these for now and make enough fireworks and then as i'm flying with the fireworks we can find more sugarcane as we go because i don't want to waste a ton of time on sugarcane even though i do need it we've also got some easy gravel right here so we can grab a little bit of gravel if i can find myself like a gravel desert as well that would be absolutely perfect to get lots of gravel all right hopefully this will be enough sugarcane All right, so I scouted out this area and we ended up with a measly 27 sugarcane. It's really not that much, but it'll it'll have to do for now. We'll just we'll make ourselves some fireworks and we'll use the fireworks to actually go and find a much better source of both sugarcane and a desert. Because typically, you know, when you find a desert, you also find sugarcane. Also, who needs boats when you have depth strider and you just go fast AF? Also, you know what? Since I'm here, I've got some bones. We're gonna take the bones and we're gonna get these wolves. Boom, one wolf, come on. Two wolves, who wants to be friends? Can we be friends? Three wolves, these guys really like me. And four, look at that. So if you guys wanna name these wolves in the comments, go ahead and leave some interesting, nice, anything really. You can leave a joke, you can leave just a nice comment and you will have a chance to pick your color and name. Don't forget to leave your color and name as well. You could name one of these guys. Look at these guys. They're so cute. I love Minecraft wolves. All right, we are back home and we have all of our new wolf friends. We got one. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to right click him with the food and they made a baby. So if you want to also name the baby, you could leave a comment for him. But for now, you guys just, you just sit down. So real quick, we're going to make ourselves some fireworks and we're going to clean out our inventory since it is quite a mess. All right, so our inventory is mostly clean, and we're going to go ahead and make as much of this as we can get. How many fireworks can I actually get? If I make tier one fireworks, we can make ourselves actually 
quite a few. Okay, a stack in 17. And we still got 53 gunpowder, so we can make a whole lot more. I know they're only tier 1s, but honestly, that's not too bad. So let's find ourselves a desert. I have a good feeling about this direction, since I know I came from that direction. So we're going to go ahead and pop these bad boys on. Also, quick pro tip. If you do use an elytra, the second you land in your hardcore world, take it off. Actually, let's make a bed real quick before I leave. Don't leave your elytra on. I've seen countless people die because they get killed with an elytra on, and it's just, it's not worth it. There we go. Real quick, we're going to sleep, and we are ready to head out with our elytra. All right, this will be the first official flight with my elytra in this world. Let's go. It just looks so pretty with shaders as well. I'm kind of scared at the performance over time in this world is going to get worse with shaders, but maybe I'll be forced to build another new PC, I guess. I don't know. We have the most decadent biome to ever graze our existence. This gorgeous biome. I love this biome. Also, real quick, I see both these guys and we got ourselves some more sugarcane so we can get some more fireworks. All right, let's go. We found ourselves another village. Boy, what? This area is not even that far away from my house. I mean, this village sucks, but like the land is so much more flat. I could have done... Aw, oh, man, we could have done so much with this area. Maybe we'll come back in the future. Also, for now, we got some free gold blocks over here. Love to see that. I also have to be a lot more careful with my elytra, just in case, because I don't have totems of undying. So inside the chest, we have... Huh? 16 iron nuggets, two blocks of gold, and a golden apple. I didn't know you could find gold blocks in the loot chest of these. That's crazy. We got three gold blocks. Oh, this actually works out. Normally, when I build a creeper farm, right, I make them in this typical kind of fashion that I normally have in the past, where I, please don't land in snow, okay, where I use a kind of smelter style, where they all go down into uh, an area where they just sit on top of, like, blocks and burn. However, this time, I'm going to use snow golems. So creepers actually are attracted to snow golems, so they'll throw snowballs at them, which will damage them, which will make them want to go to the center, and then they will fall directly to their demise that is the goal so for snow golems we're gonna get ourselves a bunch of snow i don't really need too much snow but probably like a stack all right so we ended up with a stack and two snow blocks so we've got our snow blocks for the snow golems we are good to keep going hopefully we can find a you know close by desert that will give us exactly what we want. Ooh, we didn't find exactly what we're looking for here, but we did find this pillager outpost. We could actually use this to make a raid farm if we wanted to. It's not super close, but it's also not that far away. Maybe I'll just jot down the coordinates of this real quick. All right, so we got that marked down and I'm actually gonna head back the opposite direction that I'm going because I am already 4,000 blocks away from home. Ooh, we got ourselves another abandoned portal. Let's go. It's not looking like I'm gonna be finding a desert anywhere near this direction which kind of sucks but i mean give me gold block why is this one so high up i'm just gonna have to use wood planks so yeah our plan is gonna be to go in the opposite direction and hopefully we can find a desert that's a lot closer than this because 4,000 blocks is quite the distance if you're noticing oh that was the most dumb thing i have done in a while if you've noticed i already have almost half of my fireworks gone which means that you know to get out here i'm spending that many fireworks and then to get back i'm also spending about that many fireworks so in reality i don't want to be that far out and get stranded without fireworks so for now we're just gonna go back home you know i haven't flown with an elytra in so long that i forgot exactly how fast these things really are this took like a couple of minutes to get home. A couple thousand blocks within minutes. You know how long that would take by foot? Okay, so we got some more sugarcane and we're gonna make some more fireworks. Boom, back up to a stack and a half fireworks. We're gonna go to sleep for the night and we're gonna head the other direction. Hopefully find ourselves a village and hopefully find ourselves a desert so we can actually get the sand that we need. All right, we're all set to go. Let's fly. I'm gonna head in this direction this time. I know I came from that direction, but I came from more of that way. So I'm gonna go this way. All right, so actually I... I don't think I'm going to go that way. I know I'm super indecisive, but I'm pretty sure a lot of the area looked familiar. Okay. When I was going that way, it looked really familiar. And I think that is actually closer towards my world spawn. So last time I went more that way, this time I'm going to go this way off to the side and maybe hope that I can get out of this biome that we're in. Cause like 
All the biomes now in Minecraft generate around similar biomes. So if I want to find something like a desert, it's not going to be next to like a snowy mountain. You know what I mean? Oh, we have a mangrove tree. There's a cave under there. Actually, that's not a mangrove tree. Everyone in the comments is going to yell at me. I forgot the... <gasps> Yo, wait. Wait, what? Huh? This is like right next door. There is a spruce village? There's a spruce... There's this is a big... Wait. That looks like two spruce villages. There are two spruce villages right next to my house. Yo, wait a second. Dude, that's even better. They're right next to one of these. And if you're wondering how I have things like this for my world saved, I literally have a notepad. I write all the stuff in a notepad. I'm like, yo, there's this thing over here. There's that thing over there. And then maybe I come back and use them. Back when I was doing 600 days of hardcore Minecraft, in that world, I had so many things saved in a notepad. I have been traveling for what seems like decades, and all I have found is the ocean. The great ocean beneath me. Now it feels like I'm playing RL Craft. Is that an island? I'll get back to you when I actually find something of interest. No way. What? What? Dude, I have never- No, stop. I have never found one of these in vanilla Minecraft. Like, without using, like, a trader- If we do this, I could literally- Get totems of undying right now. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. So there's like secret chest rooms. Where, where do the evokers stay? The evokers are in the top, right? Dude, yes, let's go. I am so psyched about this. I haven't done one of these in so long either. Okay, okay, okay. So if, okay, the evokers are going to be dangerous. So, ooh, that's dangerous. Those being half broken scares me. Okay, we're going to put our chest piece. Actually, no, we need to get on top of the roof. Uh, So we need better food. We have steak. Steak is good. We have golden apples. And I think we're just... We're just good to take this on. We're going to put the desert run on a hold for a second, and we're going to get totems of undying. Dude, let's go. What else can I find in here? Oh, I see you. I think it's almost nighttime, so I should probably, like, set up my bed over here and probably sleep so it doesn't, it doesn't become nighttime while I'm inside there. Just to make things as safe as possible. All right, boys, it is morning time. I don't need this bed here because we are in hardcore, and it is time. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, because evokers can do quite a bit of damage. We got golden apples, we got steak, uh, let's get a type of block that I can build with. I really don't have any blocks, do I? I guess if I really have to, I can build gravel. Type of block that I can build with to block out any of the enemies. We have our bow, which is great, and we have our sword. Let's do this, man. Should I land there or should I land the roof? I think I'm gonna land here. Alright, so we're gonna land right here, and before the vex have a chance to start spawning, we're going to switch to this. Oh, uh, I need torches as well. All right. It's go time. <gasps> oh, God. Not what I expected immediately is to get jump scared by... Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Get me out of here. Oh, my God. We're not going to lose a hardcore world. We're not going to lose a hardcore world. No. You? Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're going to do a... We're gonna do a retreat, because we got a whole bunch of vin- Oh, boy. This is not looking so good. All right, we got rid of one of them. All right, they're spawning- They're spawning way too many. Way too many! Tactical retreat! Tactical retreat! Let's get out of there! I have- Oh, boy. My combat skills are not up tonight. Okay. What do we get? What do we get? Totem of Undying! Let's go! Ow, they're following me. The problem is we gave the Evoker too much time to actually <laughs> spawn in. Vindicators. I think I'm out of range, so they can't spawn more. They just won't stop. They won't stop, though. They do so much damage. Oh, my God. I'm actually shaking right now, and I feel like absolute trash. This is why I don't play PvP. I don't do PvP in Minecraft. I see that enchanted sword. No wonder why you hurt so much. Yeah, you didn't expect me to have a bow, did you, jerks? Come back. Come on. Come back. All right, I have taken out a considerable... Oh, there's still more. He must still be spawning them. He must be spawning them. Where is he? Oh, I see him. He is. He's still spawning. You jerk. Stop. Stop. This could go on forever. This is like Naruto. Every single... I'm like every single Naruto villain right now. And these guys are just Naruto. Constant shadow clones. L plus ratio. L plus, L plus ratio. L plus ratio. L plus ratio. This is why I don't use keyboard and mouse for competitive games. How far back can I go 
that will stop him from spawning more? That is the question, bro. I am I am done with this. You know what? Yeah, maybe one is enough. I'm, I think we're good. I think we're... The entire time my AC was on! Alright, I'm just gonna say it now. My room gets very, very hot when I play Minecraft with shaders. And I have the AC on in the background. And if you can hear it in the background, I am so sorry. It's not gonna be there for every clip, but it might be there for some of them. Because it's really, really hot in my room. Alright, so we got away with there with one totem of undying, which is pretty cool. But I kind of want more. I know there's more. There is an evoker up. Dude, he's still... You're lying. They're still spawning them at this distance? I can't safely even use my elytra you know what yeah we're done we're done here we're done oh is this oh <gasps> let's go okay let's put her let's put her bed down and s oh my god why are you still here you were the most annoying enemy to fight and the most annoying enemy to hit i feel like i suck at minecraft right now that's how much these guys are trolling me they, they just they retreated are you kidding all right we're going to sleep we got a totem of undying more importantly though I found a gravel beach. Okay, so we're gonna grab our ender chest, pop this boy right here, and I guess we're gonna put all of our stuff. So we got snow in there, we got that. Get rid of this, get rid of that, get rid of that. We'll put some tools in there since I don't need everything. Put the iron in there. All right, this is a uh, soak touch, cool. Boom, we now have incredible storage. Let's get ourselves a whole bunch of gravel. All right, so I ended up with quite a few stacks of gravel. So in total, we got not quite a full shulker, but we got about this much. Honestly, the plan is when I make concrete powder of each of the colors that I need, we're just going to duplicate that using an end portal. So in reality, I don't think I need a ton more gravel, but if I did want to get more, there's like so much gravel on this beach. In fact, I kind of even missed grabbing some. So, you know, I think we're pretty good. On top of that, since uh, we're using a shovel, we also got, you know, a solid bunch of flint, which can be traded one for one for villagers. I think stick traders, I think Fletchers also like flint. You can actually use Fortune 3. If you use a Fortune 3 on uh, gravel, it'll give you guaranteed flint, which is pretty cool. But either way, we have gotten our first item, which is gravel. And I may casually also want to take some of this coal and iron. I think I'm going to mark this as well. We can come back to it in the future if we need it. But for now, we are going to continue flying this way. See if we can find ourselves a desert. All right, I know I said I was going to find myself a desert. But like seconds after I recorded that little clip, I found this area over here. That's got so much exposed coal. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's got so much exposed coal. I can't control myself. All right, I didn't mine all of it, but I did get a ton. I've got three stacks plus an additional seven coal ore. And then I also grabbed some copper ore because, you know, honestly, why not? Copper's kind of cool. I can use it in the future, maybe. I know I needed these resources because I kind of burned through a lot of them in the last episode. So it's good that we get these now before we actually, you know, get big farms. Like I can get coal in the future from a wither farm where I, you know, farm wither skeletons. But for now, just making sure I have enough. And also I am a loot goblin and can't resist stuffing anything into my grammy pockets. Anyways, let's carry back on. Once again, we find ourselves in more coal biomes when I'm looking for a desert. Ooh, we got ourselves a shipwreck along the way. Let's go ahead and check out this bad boy. Maybe we can find a treasure map. Going into shipwrecks is so much easier now that I have all of the water enchantments. Ooh, okay. So we got some paper, which is super useful now, when normally it wouldn't be, because we need fireworks. And we have a treasure map that is hopefully this way, because I was traveling this way. Oh, it's... It's got to be one of these pieces of land. It can't be that far away. Also, there is a... Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. We're about to find it. Cool. And there's... Wait a second. There's another thing in the distance. All right, first, grab our shuricane. Boom. Not going to go over there. We got a whole bunch of shuricane right here. See, this is why we needed a desert, which is kind of ironic because at this point, I've passed up enough of these areas that are full of sand that I probably could have just gotten all the sand I needed from them. But you know what? Maybe if we go to a desert, we can find like a desert temple or something as well. And maybe find a god apple. It's like right around this area. This is a big map. Normally they're not this big. So it's like somewhere in this vicinity right here. I know there's a trick you can use to find exactly where treasure maps are, but honestly, I just normally dig. Technically, I need the sand anyways, so, you know. See, who needs deserts when you just find treasure maps? All right, at this point, it's gotta be like under here. 
How have I actually not found it yet? It's kind of concerning. Oh, it's like over here more. It's like in this area. There it is. Boom. That's how you find a treasure map. You just destroy everything. Okay, we got 11 gold. Beautiful. We're up to 11 emeralds. We have more iron. Got some TNT and some fish. I'll take the heart of the sea for future uses. Dear the sandstone. We'll take the TNT. Let's go. And now we get a bunch of sand. I just realized I broke my own cardinal sin. I never took my elytra off. Yeah, we keep finding these guys everywhere. And it is raining again. We're going to keep heading this way. And hopefully we can stumble into something. Oh, this is a good sign. We got savannas. Savannas normally spawn near deserts. Oh, we have we have an acacia village. Do you have a blacksmith? I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the blacksmith looks like in the acacia village, and I'm too lazy to land. Yo, desert, let's go. Okay, cool. So first thing that we need while we're here is gonna be cactus. I need a whole bunch of cactus. Ooh, there's terracotta as well. All right, we're gonna grab a whole bunch of cactus here, so that way we can make our green dye. For the creeper, we're going to use regular green concrete powder. We're going to use lime green. And we're going to use green actual concrete. I think lime green regular concrete. Let's grab some cactus. All right, so, so far, we've got 39 cactus. We don't need a ton. We just need enough to make the concrete powder originally. And I think it's kind of crazy. This desert took 6,000 blocks to get to. And this place honestly kind of sucks. Do we have any mine shafts? Any, any visible mine shafts? We have a nether portal. Just, just something to make this worth my time. You know what I mean? It took forever. It took like a solid hour and a half to get out here, unincluding the distractions. If you include the distractions, that's honestly, I can't complain because I got a whole bunch of free stuff. But you know what? This desert still took forever to get to. Oh, so it's it's just a basic little guy. Two golden apples. Okay. And garbage. And no gold blocks. There's probably a gold block hidden under the lava. Yeah, it just it doesn't feel worth it. Sometimes they spawn underneath inside of like the, the netherrack not worth it. All right, before we go ahead and get ourselves what we came here for, let's check out the desert and see if we got any places we can like loot. Oh, this is a big desert. It is as empty as it is large. Okay, we got a desert village. I could take their wheat. Oh, we got a desert temple. You guys have led me to the promised land. Take off that. I love how in between these videos, whenever I have like an overarching goal, I accomplish it. But at the same time, I also do all this extra stuff. Like I'll like be like, yo, we're going to go find a desert so we can get cactus and sand. And then I'll like stop at like 18 different generated structures. Any creepy boys in here? No, no creepers. No one just creeping around. We're going to block those and block that too. Why not? I think it's kind of cool because it's kind of like, you know, the old fashioned like YouTube where you, there's like let's play episodes. I, except this time now we have like a general. Oh, oh general goal okay we got six gunpowder take the bones because why not you know what? we'll take everything we have storage now we have a saddle golden apple pretty cool besides that is some pretty mediocre loot we have depth strider three i don't even want that and we have two pieces of gold this is one of the most disappointing temples i've ever been to i'll take my tnt and i will leave all right so i looked around the desert a bit more and i did find a second village over here but besides this awesome coral reef down here that i could use in the future to get myself corals and also be able to duplicate tnt for like bigger projects there's not much else here so we're just gonna find ourselves a spot and we're gonna get what we came here for wait i just went to this one right yeah i just came out of that one all right we have a buried nether portal. We can go to this real quick. We also have a shipwreck. I literally am wrong. I... Oh my god. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. Where's a chest? Aha. Some more iron nuggies. Delicious. I love iron nuggies. We'll take the fire charge, because who knows what you could use it for. And I'm not seeing any gold blocks. And I'm not gonna dig it up, so that's fine. Let's go check out that shipwreck, and then we're gonna get some sand. So ironically, there is another village over there. Well going down to the shipwreck area. I find that kind of funny. Let's see what kind of treasure we got in here. Maybe there will be another map where we can find some diamondes, some decadent diamonds. We got some paper. I think that's where the treasure map would have been. So this is probably a dud. And yeah. Okay. I mean, we got lapis and iron and stuff. That's cool. Pretty disappointing overall though. All right. Sand time. All right, so my shovel is just about broken here, and we have just about two shulker boxes full of sand. Honestly, 
This is a lot of sand, but it's also not in comparison to the size of the project. But the goal is to craft the actual concrete powders that we need and then use them to duplicate by placing them over top of the end portal because that would be way more cost effective mainly for the gravel since gravel is just really not easy to come by you know what i mean like finding gravel beaches not very common but all right we are pretty much ready to start heading home now i need to get more shulker boxes and organize these these are such a mess where did i put the wood it's gotta be in here okay there we go those crafting bench so we're gonna use all of this actually we'll use half of this to make paper so i can replant and we're gonna craft oh yeah that's plenty that's plenty to get home easily and then since our elytra is really not looking good this i didn't actually plan this but it works really well what i could do is grab cash money here for both the shovel and the elytra you can put the elytra in the offhand place a whole bunch of this all right, we're going to just place out all of this coal. Probably just a stack. I don't think we need to do more than a stack, to be honest. This is one of the most satisfying parts about having ores. And I guess because it's nighttime, we're going to sleep. Take our bed. And we're going to use our Fortune 3 pickaxe to fully repair our elytra. This is the coolest thing about this. Normally, I would bring extra, like, bottles of enchanting. But I don't actually have any on me. Because I'm kind of emerald poor again, since my traders are just now coming back from being broken. I think it was a 1.18.2 bug, to be honest. After switching to 1.19, no problems, including in my VR world, which if you haven't seen, you should totally go check out the VR video. It's really good. Wow, that really did not do much. Um, all right, you know what? This will give us a little bit of XP. That doesn't have mending, though. I never gave this mending. All right, we're going to grab a bunch of those. I need red anyways, so that'll give us some XP, I guess. I just don't want the elytra to break. Am I really going to have to sit here and mine all of this coal? All right, so that's about all we got. We got our elytra just barely back into the green. That should probably be plenty. And look how much coal we got. Let's see how many blocks this is. We ended up getting 46 blocks of coal, plus an additional six, plus seven more ore that I didn't mine. You know what? Let's... All right, there we go. Now we have 23. Make that into blocks. Boom. 48 blocks and five. And we have both fireworks and our elytra is good to go. Take cash money out of our hot bar and honestly we're all set to finally go back home after this long journey all right let's go i didn't accidentally just spam three more fireworks and waste them that was you you did that why did you do that well on my way back home flying over thousands of blocks i made a couple of pit stops along the way I ended up finding an abandoned portal that had a juicy two gold blocks inside. I ended up finding this village that had a blacksmith that had a whopping nothing, couple of bars of gold, pretty cringe. And to top it all off, I found this shipwreck that inside one of the chests had a map that allowed me to go and find this extremely difficult to find underwater treasure nearby that had a whole bunch more iron, some emeralds, and a heart of the sea. Sadly though, none of these things that all could have had diamonds, except for the portal, did have diamonds. But you know what? I was now back home, and things were looking good from here. All right, we are finally back home after my... <laughs> several hour long like four hour long excursion we got ourselves pretty much everything that we needed including the cactus that we can use to actually go ahead and change the color of the name tag of our dog we got ourselves gravel beautiful we got ourselves two shulkers full of sand and we also got a whole bunch of random just other stuff and we got the cactus so we can actually cook one piece of cactus and make green i think snivy would be better represented as like lime green so maybe we'll just make some like lime green dye which is what we're going to be making anyways because we need to make lime green concrete powder speaking of which concrete powder is made so we have base concrete powder which is made with sand gravel and then whatever dye you want so we're gonna need red concrete powder we're gonna need dark green concrete powder we're gonna need lime green we're gonna need white concrete powder and light gray and there may be a couple of others we also need black so we're gonna need squid ink but for now you can go ahead and combine one of these and one of these to make lime green and we're gonna go change the color of snivy's collar all right and boom snivy is now green let's go we got snivy ducky 
and Fenrir. And now that we have a bunch of our ingredients, we're going to be taking them all together, crafting ourselves every type of concrete powder and concrete that we need. And we're going to go to the end portal, make a little hopper setup, and just sit there duping and duping and duping. Unfortunately, I actually don't remember where my end is because my dumbness did not record the coordinates in the last episode. So we're going to actually have to find it again. Luckily, I still have a ton of eyes vendor. I've got 14, which is easily enough to find it. And I don't think it's even that far from here. So honestly, things are going to go pretty well. All right. So I spent the last day gathering together some of the resources that I had to figure out exactly which of these I was going to need. I already kind of had it planned out. We're going to need lime green concrete powder, and then some of the lime green concrete powder will become concrete. We're going to need green concrete powder, which is just going to be used as concrete powder. We're going to need black concrete powder, which will mainly be used as black concrete and we also need light gray concrete powder which will stay as powder and then we will need white concrete powder and white concrete these are going to be the staples of the duplication essentially we're going to take all of these over to our end portal and we're just going to sit there duplicating i kind of did some rough math on how much i'm actually going to need and it's uh to say the least it is rough i need a total of 22 shulker boxes full of stacks of these blocks and i didn't do the exact math on stacks of which ones because at that point i realized me counting the pixels on creepers in Photoshop would take longer than just to duplicate an absolute ton of these and make a bunch of trips. So honestly, now that I have these ready and made, that's pretty much what we're going to do. I also do have a bunch of these as backups, but unfortunately, you know, like I, I need the dyes. So if I do have the dyes, then I can go ahead and make backup like more concrete powder using the gravel and sand that I have. But if I don't have dye, then it'll probably just be more trips to the end to duplicate. But for now, I have to get rid of all of the stuff from my shulkers so I can maximize the amount of stuff that I can bring back with me from the end trips. All right, so we got our shulkers and our inventory all cleared up. We got all of our empty shulkers here. The red one is sitting back over by the house with the other remaining things that we need. Before we go on our trip, I have to repair our elytra with mending because, uh, yeah, we kind of like burned through it. And for now, I'm not wasting my sword to get some sticks. So I'm going to waste some regular wood instead, which kind of sucks since I'm really low on resources right now. But you know what? It's a gradual step. We're, we're gradually becoming rich here. A couple more big farms and this world is going to be all set to go. No, oh, look at that. It's already done. And we got our totem of undying now. You guys want to give me a little more? Yeah, perfect. Let's see if the farmer is still selling his gold carrots at the good price. Ah, yes. Beautiful golden carrots. I will take all 36 of those. Thank you, good sir. Stupid chump. All right. Looks like we are pretty much to go. I'm gonna grab some more iron. Just so that way when we get there, we can make like a nice little hopper. And then I'll also have a bed for myself. So that way we can just keep going in and out of the end to pick up the resources. Since I only have one stack of each for now. But soon we will have hundreds of stacks after I spend the next four hours in the end. So yeah, here is my new dumping area. I just dumped all this crap into these chests. I really need to make a sorting system in one of these episodes. But yeah, this is mainly what we'll be bringing. We've got plenty of iron to make lots of hoppers. In the end, we've got some coal. We've got, you know, all of our concrete powders, extra food and stuff, our tools. And we are pretty much set to go. I'm also going to bring infinite water source in there since I'm not quite sure. I haven't duplicated sand in a while and I'm not quite sure if I can even set up like a hopper system to collect it or if I'll have to like make paths of water that will lead all of the drops into a hopper system. Either or we're we're going to find out. But for now, we are pretty much good to go. I'm going to sleep and then we're going to make our way to our end. Also found some watermelons. Not sure if I have these, but I will also take these. I can make a nice melon farm for like farmers. Farmers love melons. You know, I'm starting. I don't remember this biome. I'm starting to think that this is leading me towards a entirely different stronghold than I've been to before. And I'm not sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing. All right. It finally turned around. We... I, okay, I just lost that. That's nice. I do not remember this area. I think this is an entirely new stronghold. Oh, look at all this coal must resist. All right, I'm going to resist the coal. We're going to go to the end and begin the duplication process. I think I finally found it. It just went straight in the ground right here. I think finally, after all this time, I found dad. I, I mean, stronghold. I found the stronghold. Sorry. Uh, anyways, I need a shovel to actually get down there because I don't have my shovel. This is actually a new stronghold because I've I've never dug down to it. So, oh no, I hope I have enough eyes of ender. I swear. No, please, please don't do it to me. Let me have the torches in my inventory, man. 
We're in the shulker. All right, I hear skeletons. I hear mobs. Where's the stronghold? Oh, it is a fresh stronghold. That is my favorite. I hear tons of mobs in here too. All right, we got a whole lot of creepy boys in here. Yo, is that it? Wait a second. Ooh, okay. Nice. Golden apple. I will take it. Let's light some of this area up so we just don't have to deal with these mobs as much. There is iron and stuff, but I'm going to resist mining all that and we're going to go straight to the end. Wow, this place is a mess. Luckily, I don't have any blocks to build up to it. Be gone, thought. Get rid of you and no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven! Yes! It does not work out like that. How does it work out like that? Boom! Let's go. Okay. Uh, we don't need this door being wide open. This is like super dangerous. We're gonna light this room up and get rid of the sources of lava. Ain't nobody need lava. I've had enough spicy chocolate milk in my days. Am I right, lactose intolerant gang? Wow, I didn't screw that up. Get rid of the lava. Don't need you. Don't need you. Just look at how gorgeous this is with shaders. Look, look. Just look into the end portal. Gaze in its awe. Isn't it just decadent? All right. So while we're here, I better set up home and get real cozy because we are going to be here for a long, long time. So we're going to need this. We need our bed. We're going to pop our bed down right here. Set our spawn. We're going to just put something that's obvious right there. So I know my way out. And we're, I think we pretty much just have to go to the end now. Or actually, before we go to the end, we can make the stairs now. So let's, I say stairs, I meant fence gate. We can make the fence gates now. Whenever I do live commentary, my brain just turns to mush, I swear. Right, we need some sticks. I feel like it's ironic I'm using birch. Birch is one of the like woods that I barely ever build with. And this is the one thing I'm using it for. All right, now we just empty our inventory pretty much somewhere. I guess we'll just make like an 80th chest. So we can just dump here. All right, pop down a random dump chest. We got our carrots. We got that, that. That's important. Those are important. And the rest of this, honestly, I don't really care. A bunch of other random stuff can just go in the trash and in the corner on the ground. And I did not grab a second source of water. So let's just hope one source of water is all that I actually need. There we go. So this is what I'll pretty much be doing for like the rest of my life, to be honest. We're going to do this one quick time with all the first stacks to see if it's actually going to work. I don't even know if they patched this. I meant to test it out in a creative world first, but I did not do that. And I already committed. So you know what? We're just going to do this instead. All right. Now is our time to shine. If we go through this portal, it should give us twice as much of all of them. Oh, no. Did they patch it? Where did I get a crimson trap door from? Huh? No way. Did they patch it? Am I going to have to make all this? Oh, no. Okay, hear me out. Maybe I did it wrong. Maybe I did it wrong. We're going to try one more time. It should put me right back in the cave. Okay. All right. So I have good news and bad news. Um, so yeah, the good news is technically they're not all patched. I could still do it. But the bad news is they're actually mildly complex and would require a bunch of slime blocks and sometimes honey blocks and a whole lot of redstone. And honestly, I feel like just placing some sand up top is kind of not that big of a deal. You know, like I didn't think that was a big deal, but Making a full redstone contraption here that generates like thousands of sand blocks an hour kind of is a little cheaty to me. I don't know. I was okay with duplicating these the regular way because I didn't think it was that bad. But yeah, I think I came all the way here for nothing. I guess we're just going to take our bed, pack our bags and go back home. That means it's unfortunately on to, I guess, plan B, which is then to do it the hard way where all of the colored stuff that I need, for example, lime green and green, I'm going to need a lot of cactuses, which means I need to make a miniature cactus farm and I'm going to need a lot of bone. So that way I can use the white wool or sorry, the white dye to make lime green and then squids. I mean, squids spawn pretty regularly in the ocean. They're not too bad, but then I'll also again need more skeletons. So, uh, yeah. That's going to make this entire project take a lot longer than I originally planned. I should have, I should have just Googled it. Oh my God. I, wow. Kind of disappointed in myself. Not going to lie. All right. So I thought about it for a bit here. And since now I'm going to have to go and gather a lot more gravel and a lot more sand, that means 
If I want to make the trips more efficient, I'm going to need more shulker boxes. I've got looting three now, so I can also fly to the places. I think I had looting three last time, so it doesn't matter, but I have the elytra and I can fly. Two issues here. One, if I kill shulkers, I'll have to sometimes put these in my offhand to keep the durability. And two is rockets. I do not have a huge amount of rockets, so if we don't get lucky and find some good end cities, this trip could be very dangerous. I could end up getting stuck places and have to do it the old-fashioned way where I have to build blocks across. So, so yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Also, I didn't want to kill as many end cities nearby because in the future I want to make a shulker farm. And if you know how to make a shulker farm, it's uh, it's not easy. You have to get a shulker all the way to the overworld. But you know what? Let's do it. I'm pretty much ready. We got our totem in the offhand just in case. And then I have the shield here so I can swap to it whenever I need. So we can take on some uh, shulky boys. Oh, oh, wait. No. Oh my god. I guess it doesn't matter because the NCs have shulkers anyways, or end chest anyways, but if I would have left this here, I would have given up all access to my ender chest. Speaking of ender chest, I think I had more fireworks inside one of these boxes. I hope I had more fireworks inside one of these boxes. Is that all I've got? That's all I've got. All right, we have to find an end city like ASAP. All right, let's go. Before we go through there too, just to make sure I'm extra safe, I will grab myself a couple of ender pearls. This is why flame kind of sucks when you're fighting endermen. Because then they just jump around and stuff. He dropped nothing. Okay, no. Two is not enough. Two is not enough. Six is pretty good. We'll go with six. Six is good. All right, now time for one of the best parts. Since I don't have any trap doors up here, we're going to have to ender pearl our way in. Whoa! No, 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 no. Why you gotta be that way? An Endermite? I spawned an Endermite in only two? If I was making an Enderman farm, you know, that'd be kind of cool, but I'm not, and he almost just killed me. Can I go in? You're... Go away! What? What is going on? Go in. I'm out of Ender Pearls now! What? Go in. Oh, okay, we're good. Whew, okay, so I don't actually know which direction I've even been in before here, so I'm thinking, I'm assuming I went that way last time, since it doesn't, it has, it probably has paths. It looks like the easier way to go. This looks like the harder way to go, so we're gonna go this way. I want to crank my render distance up, but I might have to turn shaders off to do that, so. Okay, never mind. Actually, um, hello? I may have been to this one before. I can't tell, and I just, I, I haven't turned shaders off. My FPS is not the best, but I'm at 48 render distance right now. And this one has another end ship. Ooh, yes, please. Oh, no, I did go over here. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, if there's any shulkers alive here, I should leave them alive because I could take them to the overworld. So you know what? There are a couple of shulkers. I'm not going to kill these. We're, we're just going to keep going. Okay, this is, I think, the end city I saw in the distance during the last episode that I didn't go to because it was too far away. And honestly, we're just here for shulker boxes. So, I mean, we don't have to go too far. This one's kind of small, but honestly, looking pretty good. Ooh, actually. Oh God, oh God. Okay, let's go down here and do this away from them. We have another end city in the distance. All right, let's get rid of you. We have another end city in the distance. We've got tons of end cities really close nearby. So we could like, oh boy, oh boy. So we could literally just, you know what? Hit me. I don't care. Hit me. We could get one of these shulkers and take them back to the overworld for a shulker farm. And then I could just have as many shulkers as I want. Oh, should I even kill this? Should I mark the coordinates of this? Because what if there's not that many over there? Should I go kill that one instead? This one is so close. You know what? I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to mark this one down as a fresh end city. And we're going to go over to that one instead. So that way I could use this for a future episode. That's what we're going to do. All right, we got the coordinates down and we are headed to the next one. And you know, speaking of new episodes, if you haven't already, you should really consider subscribing to the channel. All right, it's go time. Time to get us some more shulkers. Ooh, okay, unbreaking three and a couple of gold. Not really that good, but I will be taking this free ender chest. It's like stop signs. They're, they're free. I spy with my little eye, end city number, uh, technically four, I guess. This one's a lot bigger. Maybe we'll get a lot more shulkers here. I see, what, three loot rooms? Maybe technically five, possibly five? I don't know. End cities are kind of hard to tell because sometimes they're, the rooms just look different. I don't know, man. All right, let's see what we get in this bad boy. 
You know what? You guys keep shooting me, but I might as well check your chest just to see. Ooh, let's go. Four diamonds and a god pair of leggings. Okay. Yo, a whole bunch of stuff. I like the gold. Gold is going to be super useful for the future. Time to use a pro gamer move. If you have a looting sword in your offhand while shooting with a bow, you still have the looting effect. I think I actually did that backwards. I think you're supposed to have the bow in the offhand. Yeah, I did that backwards. All right, let's see what loot room number two has to offer. Dude, this is actually really good loot. Three more diamonds, more gold, mending boots, and a sharpness four diamond sword. And I'll take the horse armor too, because I am a hoarder. And for now, because I'm lazy, also a lazy hoarder, I'm going to dump all this random stuff into my ender chest. Speaking of ender chest, I am up to 30 shulker shells. That's 15 more boxes, which means we officially have enough to get ourselves more than 22 shulkers full of all the resources that we're going to need. But, I mean, I'm still here and there's still a bunch more places to loot. So, might as well just finish this up real quick. Um... Uh... What? What? I was just following the coordinates home. What is this place? Oh, no. I have to. I have to at least get all the elytras. I can't. I can't pass up the elytras. Dude, there's three end cities here. What is going on? I was just heading back home. All right, elytra number one secured. I'm going to mark down the coordinates too. But let's go ahead and also take this. You can't, you know, do an end city without taking the dragon head. The first good old fashioned sneak toggle so I don't accidentally fall off and explode. I did not expect to find this. I really didn't. There's another one! There are four end cities with end ships here. Okay, he's got emeralds. I'll take it. He's got diamond gear. A lot of diamond gear, actually. I'll take those two. Why not? Give me elytra. Now I don't have to fear, you know, like losing elytras because I've got 18 million of them. Let's go. Dragon head numero dos acquired. Came from that way, so let's go to this one. Oh, I've already been to this one? Um, wait, the, uh, wait a second. I just did that one. I got, what? So it must be this way then. I am heavily confused right now. And I didn't expect to also be looting this many end cities. I expected to come in here just for the shulkers. And of course, on the way home, I run into everything else that's like, hey, yo, you said you wanted an end city? All right, here's four of them. Here's like two hours worth of gameplay for looting. All right, this one is missing its dragon head, which is odd. This one is cursed. It's missing the... This is the second time this has happened to me. Is that another one? There is another one in the distance. I can't do anything in Minecraft without the game shoving loot in my face. I don't need all the diamonds and stuff, like the diamond armor. I don't need those. I also don't need like, you know, all of the shulker shells if I'm going to make a shulker farm. However, I can't not take the elytras. Now I can enchant multiple elytras and take them on one trip and not have to worry about repairing them. This has three diamonds inside. It has more iron, more gold, and just more crazy tools. What, what even is this? I actually am in awe right now. There is another end city over there. That's the one that got chopped. There's that one that I think I came from, meaning I think that one is the next one. That also has an end city, but I don't see the dragon on that one. It is really easy to get turned around while you're doing this. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of just using the dragon heads on the end city ships. Tell me if I've been there or not. See, that's the broken one. That's the one that just gypped me, meaning this is the right way. I need to be extra careful about this, though, because I am running out of fireworks. There's another end city ship. Okay, I've already been this way, so it's got to be this way. All right, so the problem is I actually just realized that I am pretty much at that end city that I mentioned that was near my spawn. I'm in a cluster of end cities. There is another one with another end ship that are somewhere near that portal that I had gotten out of. I have to find the portal now, although oddly enough, I don't have nearly enough elytras for the amount of end ships that I've found. But yeah, at this point, that is not my concern. I am more concerned with the fact that I'm down to 26 rockets. So now I'm just trying to find myself in Ender Portal out of here. Oh, wait, this is the original. Okay, here we go. This is the original end city that I found in episode two, meaning I am really close to the original portal. <gasps> I see a portal. We found the portal. Oh, I found freedom. I am so, so happy. I didn't expect this to be such a long trip. I hope you guys all enjoy these longer episodes. How I kind of just like segue and do other things along with the big projects. Because they take a lot of work to make. And honestly, I've been really happy 
doing them. They're a lot of fun. I know they've been a little bit spread out, but if you do want to see more, then I highly recommend subscribing so you can see any future uploads that I do. I also have some other pretty big modded projects coming out soon that I'm pretty sure you guys are going to like, so... Also, if you do want to hear more about what I have planned and just other things about me in real life, like what things I like, pictures of my animals, etc., then I also do have a Twitter that I don't feel like I plug enough, and I'm really trying to get, you know, an audience going on over there, since that way, when I do start streaming, I can easily just say, hey, I'm streaming on Twitter, and people will know. So if you are interested in that, there is a link in the description for Twitter, along with pretty much all of my other socials. I know I also don't plug this that much, but I do also have a Discord server, and I occasionally hang out in there, although I do admit I get burnt out sometimes, and I don't end up being in there as often as I could. But you can also meet a lot of other cool people that also like my videos, and just enjoy Minecraft in general. But yeah, we are finally back home. That took... Oh... We are not back home because my spawn is set. No, I might not have enough rockets to get home. We only have 15 rockets to fly all the way back to my base. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I broke the bed. So this is the actual world spawn. Also, my render distance is still set to 50 chunks, which is way more than I, I definitely need. How far away do I live? Oh, did it just spawn? It's a thunderstorm too. Either way, I have made a severe miscalculation. It's no big deal. I've got this. It's only 4,000 blocks, right? We're gonna sleep. And I actually do have an idea. Don't worry. I do have an idea. I can just... Oh. Okay. I'm glad I don't have to deal with those guys. We're gonna go hunt some creepers before they despawn. What the? What the? No, 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 no. I'm not getting hunted by sky demons and witches. What? I hate it here. I hate it here. Okay, we're gonna hunt creepers and we're gonna get paper and make ourselves enough to get out of here and just go all the way home. Two hours later. Oh, I see my house. There it is. It's it's kind of dumpy, you know? Still, it's a crappy village. And this tiny little humble hut. But you know what? Soon we will make a mega base. Soon. But for now, that is not our goal. All right, well, now that we're back home and I learned that I have way, way more to do, we're going to need a lot more gunpowder to make more fireworks to go back and find more gravel and deserts. I think the next goal here, since if you want to make concrete powder, right, I think it's like half and half, right? Let's search, let's search concrete powder. So like, if, let's say I wanted to make brown concrete powder. Yeah, it's half and half. So you need four sand, four gravel, and then whatever dye you want. So in a way, if I go out and collect like 22 shulkers full of sand and then 22 shulkers, actually more than 22 of shulkers of sand and then of gravel. Then afterwards, I can just use whatever dyes I want, right? I can make some farms here that'll produce dye for me in the process while I'm also building the creeper farm. So that way, this project is not going to be as crazy long as I guess that would take. I don't know. I may have bit off a lot more than I should be chewing right now for the amount of stuff I have in my world. All right, so it's now nighttime. Let's go ahead and make ourselves all 18 shulkers. Wait, 18. Wait a second. That's not that's not the number of shulkers that I was trying to make. Oh no. Did I actually just leave the end without making enough shulkers? I mean, this is still good. This is still a good amount of shulkers, but what? We got like what? 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 18 19 20 21 22 23. Oh no. Okay, no. No, I was right. Okay. 23 total shulk shulkers. We're good. We're good. I was not going back to the end again. No, 24 actually. 25, 26. Boom. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. At this point, I'm just panicking that the rest of my plan is not going to come together. All right. Anyways, now that we have that going on, we need gunpowder so we can start flying again. So let's go out, kill a bunch more creepers, and then spend five or six hours collecting all the resources that we need. Oh, hey guys. What's up? You know, it just so happens to be that I need bones too. You guys are perfect. For the project that I want to build, and it's absolutely massive scale, I am going to need so much more than just a couple of mob drops off the ground. So, it was right then and there that I stopped killing the mobs and began preparing the next big step of the plan. Alright, so you may be wondering, why am I back in the nether? Well... I need myself a couple buckets of lava so I can make a stone farm. Either way, I was going to need the stone farm to make the base stand where the creeper farm is going to sit in the ocean. However, I need it now because I need a lot of drops, right? I need a lot of gunpowder. I need a lot of 
bones. And honestly, this could just give me XP and other stuff as well. You know, it would just be profitable in general. So the idea is I'm going to make the stone farm, gather lots of stone. We're going to build up into the sky using scaffolding, and we're going to make ourselves a mob farm in the sky. Super basic. Pretty much exactly like the mob farm that I made inside of my 100 by 100 world, which by the way, if you've not seen that video, you should totally go check it out after this one. It's a banger. Hey, yo, Hoglins. No, thank you. No piggy boys. No, I'm good. No more nether for me. This is the worst biome to spawn in. Hey, how's it going? What's up, man? Yee, go to the portal. Hey, the portal didn't break this time. It's the right portal. Maybe it's because I'm in 1.19. Who knows? But yeah, boys, today the plan is simple. We're going to farm a ton of stone and we're going to make a small mob farm in the sky. And we're just going to sit there, gather plenty of gunpowder so I can make myself tons of rockets. And then I'm going to spend probably six or so hours out and about collecting all the sand and gravel and cactus and flowers that I need. This is going to be quite the project. All right. So to make this stone farm, it's actually super simple. You start out with this little structure like this. We have four chests. We have hoppers on the inside, stairs on top so they don't actually stop you from opening the chests. And then one at a time, you just pop water. And then one by one, you fill these areas with water. So you have all these flowing. Then you take one bucket of lava and you plop it on top. And then once all four of these have water inside, you take one bucket of lava and you just plop it on top. And there you go. You got yourself an easy, basic stone farm. Turns all of these into this. And boom. Now you can just stand here with either a silk touch pick or a fortune pick and just mine away. And you look inside the chest. Boom. You got stone. You got stone. You got stone. You got stone. Also, I have no clue what this sign says. It says Subal Scruble? I don't speak YouTube. All right, it's nothing special, but I added this nice little glass area so I can step in here, got some light, close the door, set a nice macro or like some kind of clip or something on your mouse, and I could just stand here and just mine stone for as long as I want. Of course, you should watch when you're doing this because you could always break your pickaxe, but if you got a really good pickaxe, it takes a lot to almost break it. So yeah, I'm just gonna chill right here do this for probably about 40 minutes or so. There we go. We didn't even do it for that long, and we pretty much have an entire shulker full of stone bricks, which is way more than enough for the actual, like, mob farm that we're trying to make so now we just need to find a spot you get us some bamboo and i'm probably going to repair the elytra before we go because i don't want to risk breaking it even if i now have more of them you know what i mean all right so we got our elytra all repaired and i have 29 more bottles of enchanting that i can use whenever i actually need to repair things kind of like this silk touch pick that i just took a chunk out of now we just need to get some real quick bamboo. It feels really nice being able to break all this bamboo without doing anything to my sword. Like, it feels so right. Also, I now have a ton more sticks that I can trade with the stick boys. And I can, I'm excited to make another stick farm in the future. Infinite sticks. And while I'm at it, I can even repair my pickaxe if you guys actually want to trade. Let's go. One more stack of sticks. Yes, fully repaired pickaxe, just about. See, these guys, they may be like a little more fixed now that it's, you know, 1.19, but when a villager breaks like that, they stay broken for a long time. I don't think they will ever be permanently fixed. So when I go on to make like a new villager farm, honestly, I'm just gonna worry about it then. All right, got myself some string. Let's make a whole bunch of scaffolding. Honestly, we're going to go pretty high up, but I'm not really sure how much I need. Hopefully three stacks is enough because that's pretty much all the string I have. I've still got, you know, all this bamboo just laying on the ground. But I just turned all these into sticks, to be honest. All right, so I spent the night doing a little more hunting. Got myself up to eight string since no spiders had spawned. But we do have, you know, 34 gunpowder now. So we could actually go ahead and do something with the gunpowder. But first, I... I would like to make myself more fireworks so I can actually fly around while trying to build this mob farm. And boom, now we got almost two stacks of fireworks. Let's go. So now that we have our fireworks situated and my inventory is still absolutely destroyed, let's go ahead and make ourselves a bunch more scaffolding. And now we should honestly have enough to begin our project. And we got our shulker full of stone bricks. All right, so I trimmed up all this grass near my base the way that bothers people the most, as in like I didn't use a water bucket, Um, because we're going to put it up here. I know it's a, it's a little bit close to the base, but it's kind of out of the way because 100% in the future, I 
I will be destroying this. Honestly, I don't I don't know how many, you know, high I even want it to be. So for now, we're probably just going to do a solid like maybe we'll do two and a half stacks. Go up there, see how high it ends up being. I will equip my elytra before going up there because I am not becoming round spaghetti. All right, we got that all finished. Let's pop on our elytra and go up to the top, I guess. This this is, uh, you should always wear an elytra going up top in high places like this. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not sure if they're out of render distance or if I actually picked them up or not, but uh, I think the other resources I needed to do stuff up here were inside of my other shulker boxes that I don't think I have access to. So I'm gonna have to fly back down. This looks so pretty with shaders and the way that my render distance is right now, it's not as far as I'd normally use it because I'm using shaders, but it kind of gives off like a world effect where it's like a globe. Take that flat earthers. All right, we are at the top and it's, this is really, really cool. The shadow of the actual pillar is like moving with the sun. It's literally a sundial. That is so cool. Also, while I'm looking down there, that's a lot of red flowers. Probably, you know, enough red flowers to actually get me through making my TNT portion of this build. Pretty excited about that. But for now, I struggle to, uh, I'm struggling to put blocks without falling. Ooh, that's scary. It is really scary building this high up. I know I have an elytra on. I'm a baby. All right, so we're going to build it over towards this way. We're just going to make ourselves a nice little area that we can actually kind of chill in. Maybe build some walls up here too, so I don't have to like worry about that. All right, so now that we got this little area over here kind of placed, we're going to make ourselves a crafting bench and we're going to kind of get going up here. So we got crafting bench. We're going to put some torches down just in case it gets dark. And we're going to start working on a collection area. Now, typically for these collection areas, you don't have to do anything super fancy. However, this time it's a bit problematic because with looting, you get a lot of resources, right? And with those resources, you very, very quickly run out of like actual storage space here. All right. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to expand this platform over here. Okay, actually, let's crap. It's gonna be off all right so i can't center it really but i can kind of put it off to the side maybe all right so this took a lot longer than i thought it was going to and then i wanted to and yes i have a lot less fireworks because i kept having to go back down there to get stuff i know but i ended up kind of settling on this it's not the most efficient it's also not the nicest but i kind of don't care it's just supposed to do its thing right so we got these slabs here so we can smack the mobs and they can't get out and creepers won't blow up unless you stand like this and you sit here and wait if you stand like this and swing at them creepers won't even aggro on you only thing that aggroes on you is witches sometimes and they can't hit you because they'll hit the walls and maybe like you know skeletons or something which again can't hit you because of the walls so this is fine and we have double the storage that we normally have not the most efficient also it's a t like teen titans i don't know now we just had to build it up real quick and we can start farming some mobs All right, so I'm just now finishing up this uh, farm and I had probably the perfect amount of stone. I actually screwed up a little bit in and I made the platforms inside only one high above the actual water in the center. So I had to just waste more stone for it. But you know what? Honestly, stone is super easy to get now. So I don't have to worry about it. I ran out of stone. Am I entirely out of stone? Dang. All right, so we're entirely out of stone for now. It's a little thicker than normal. The boy's got a little bit thicker of a dumpy, you know? But I mean, it's functional. It should probably still work when actually this torch is on top, so maybe not. But let's go down here and see if we can find any lightning strikes, to be honest. I really want to get skeleton horses again. Because in my original hardcore world, when I got skeleton horses, that was right before I lost the world. And I was starting to do some pretty big projects. But it's okay, because in this world, I will be doing only big projects from now on. Obviously, I mean, just look at this project and how long this is going to take. But I want to do a huge iron farm. I want to do a huge, like unnecessary farms if you will like sugarcane like cactus farm want to do melon farm pumpkin farm make a giant villager breeder slash trading castle somewhere i have an idea for that in the future it's going to be a multiple part video if it ever does come out but i'm not going to say it right now because i think it's going to be a cool surprise all right as soon as i got back down here it stopped thundering there stopped being lighting strikes maybe for now at least so in the meantime let's see if anything is actually spawned i don't think anything can while i'm down there i've got torches up here kind of stopping stuff from spawning so let's go ahead and just fill this up real quick and then we are good to see if it actually works all right so we have a couple of spawns here but it oh 
Is it picking up? I hope I built up high enough. I should definitely be high enough in the air because I'm high enough that I can no longer even see any of my mobs. Minus the horse, but they have a higher render distance than other mobs. It's spawning. They're also all one hits too, which I mean, doesn't really matter because of my god sword, but you know what? It's working. I think, I think it might be, I think it might be good. I don't know. I'll give it a little bit of time and see if this actually wants to work. Is that a, wait, 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 wait. Is that a witch? It just spawned a witch. Hey, witches have no meaning to me now because I don't really need them, but you know, I'll take it. There's another witch. What? She dropped a potion of healing. I mean, this is still technically faster than the other ones, but this is still really slow. I don't know why this is so slow. Let's try, let's try placing a bunch more of these and maybe they'll spawn more. Maybe I'm not high enough. All right, it's not entirely useless. I don't know if the spawns are up to speed of what they should be. But I mean, just look at this. I don't I don't know why a lot of them are zombies. We got a potato. We got six. Oh, we got some sugar from the witch. We got six gunpowder. So like it. Oh, we have a chicken. <laughs> we got a chicken. The last time I was doing this was literally the last video with a 100 by 100. And I feel like I'm just so used to that one's insane speed that this one's just not great. I just feel like so far this whole video had like a nice straight plan a nice, nice little direction for me to go in. And then now it's all over the place because it just didn't work. But you know what? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to get a bunch of mobs until I have enough gunpowder. I'm going to sit here for like maybe two, three stacks of gunpowder, which shouldn't be too hard to get. All right, now that it's daytime, things are going a little better. I don't know if it was because there were still mobs spawning down on the ground, or if it was because I was too close to the spawner, like I moved back a bit. Either way, this works. It's not great. It's not perfect, for sure. But I mean, I didn't really expect it to be. Also, the carpet is stealing my XP, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I have not been here that long, and we've already almost got a stack of gunpowder. It's going pretty well. Look at that, 48 gunpowder. This is why we need to make a real farm, though. I'm just saying. All right, here we are. We are finally at, boom, more than four stacks, or sorry, more than three stacks of gunpowder. Look at that. It took a lot longer than I would like, to be honest. It, it took really long. That's the reason why we're making the gunpowder farm in the first place. You know what I mean? So now that we have what we need from up here, I can pick up all of this stuff and prepare to go out. Now that we have all of the gunpowder for enough fireworks for a good amount of time, I am going to have to go out on two separate trips and collect 22 entire shulker boxes full of both sand and then gravel. Sand is not that hard. I can just go back to the desert and mindlessly beat away at some sand. But gravel? Gravel's not quite the easiest thing to actually get a lot more of. All right, so I've had some time in real life to stop and think about the project. I last left off where I had gotten enough gunpowder to essentially make all of the rockets I would need to travel far enough away. And while I was away and thinking about this, I was, you know, like, okay, if I want to get this much sand to fill this many shulkers and this much gravel, that's going to take a really long time. I'm going to need like six god shovels and I'm going to need an entire shulker box full of potions of XP to actually repair those tools. And then I really started thinking about the end portal again. And at first I was kind of like, you know, a redstone duplicator is not exactly what I wanted to do. But honestly, after more thought and after talking it over with other YouTubers that also do hardcore a lot, I've come to the decision that it's not actually as bad as I was making it out to be, you know? Like, it's not like I'm duplicating diamonds. Like, diamonds would definitely be... That would not be okay. But it's something as common as sand, right? Essentially, I'm saving myself time. So, I went ahead and I got together all of the resources I would need to make the duplicator. We have, you know, all of our blocks. I have 33 hoppers total, which costed me a ton of iron, along with some minecarts, various, like, redstone stuff. Only thing left that I need is slime. That's where we're, we're kind of at a, a standstill here. I now need enough slime for like what? I now need enough slime to get myself 24 blocks of slime along with making those 20 pistons into slime pistons or sticky pistons, sorry. So we got these, which is good. And I actually took the liberty of figuring out where the nearest slime chunk in my world was because there's no way to do that in vanilla Minecraft. So I do not think that is cheating to find a slime chunk. And it just so happens to be this right here is the closest slime chunk. My base is literally on a slime chunk. So I was thinking what we could do is dig down and make ourselves a couple of layers of like floor for slime to spawn and just sit here and farm a bunch of slimes. Honestly, we've got looting three on our sword. So it's not going to take too, long to get the slime right all right so since we need to dig down i need to heal our friend dirt dispatcher here and because he's got mending what better way to do it than to trade with my scammer villagers i love you guys so much three sticks now this is a complete 
scam. You guys are- Oh, two? Okay. I take it back. If you want to go down to one, that would be Daijobu, you know? Guys? You know what? Oh, okay. Three. Not great, but it's mildly acceptable. Listen, guys, until I have an Enderman farm, you're safe. But once I have the Enderman farm and I want to make a better way to get emeralds, you be scared. You better live in fear. You better get your trades scattered together or I'm going to bury you in the ocean. Goodbye. Enjoy it while it lasts. All right, so we're not quite fully repaired. I don't need the shovel fully repaired, but I might as well do it just because. And we can always use more food. You know what I mean? Food is always helpful. And we can also use more potions of enchanting for our elytra. So that way, while we're out and about on the go, we can heal up whenever we need to. And on top of that, I'm also going to grab some extra ender pearls since I think I'm possibly out. I don't know because I don't have an item sorter and all of my stuff is literally everywhere. It could be in one of these chests, but they don't look to be. We have, we have nine. I'll take the nine, you know, why not? All right, and now that we have our shovel all good to go, we can start digging down. So now that my shovel was fully repaired, I began by digging straight down in a column of two while also placing torches and ladders until I made my way to Y38. I started clearing out the entirety of the chunk until everything was open and ready for slimes to spawn. Because slimes inside of slime chunks spawn below Y40. After this, I took a quick fly up in the night sky to see if I could get anything to spawn, but upon arriving back in the cave, nothing had done so yet. So I figured why not go down and dig even more areas in the same chunk, similar to how you would with an actual slime farm. Oh, we got our first guy. We got our first slime. Slice. Dice. All right. Not too bad. He dropped me two. Is there, is there one on this layer? So far, I, I began digging out the layers. I dug out two and I began the third one. Luckily, this I also need stone in the future for the platform, for the mob grinder anyways. So, you know, this kind of works out. We got a lot of stone. My only big concern here is how long it took for that guy to spawn. I flew up to the top of the mob farm and I sat there for a couple seconds and then I came back down. I don't think I have to go to the top of the mob farm. I think I can just wait, but I need about four stacks. Oh, there's a lot of mobs up here. And honestly, I didn't think about it, but while looking at that at that map, I probably should have just wait, like made a better area to have built that instead of a single slime chunk. Because over there by the village, there's like four slime chunks next to each other. There's a lot of slime on the table over there. I could just dig out that area. I mean, what's another hour, right? You know, it's only been an hour, you know? No big deal. Also, scary little note here. Well, on the way down last time, right as I got to the ground, my mouse disconnected, which was terrifying. And I was luckily not going at like terminal velocity. I was about going like this. So I just, you know, landed. But I could have, you know, disconnected way sooner than that and just splat. I have a totem of undying, but it is the only totem I have so far. All right, let's see if we got any new slime boys. All right, nothing on the first level and I don't hear anything on the second level. So yeah, no slime boys. This, this is gonna take a while. Look at all that slime. Yes. It only took me digging out this entire new area. That is fantastic. How much does that put me up to? Okay, that's that's half of a stack. That's one eighth of the way there. If I can get seven more large slimes, this will be done pretty quick. All right, so finally, after a lot longer amount of time than I would like to admit. I have gotten enough slime and actually I got some extra because I had a couple of big boys spawn. The one that I dug down right here just didn't work. I didn't get a single slime to spawn in it. And the one that I dug over there took so, so long. I had to like lower my render distance and then up the simulation distance, which is like how far away mobs update. I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it, but we got the slime. Important thing is we got the slime. So you know what that means? Where are my pistons? I think they should be bingo pistons and then slime box. So we need actually let's do the pistons first. So I don't screw this up. Boom. 20 sticky pistons. And I believe it was 24 slime blocks. You're you're lying, right? No. Surely not. No, 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 no. I'm looking this up right now. There's no way. It's 24 slime blocks. You're actually kidding. Okay, so somehow I was severely wrong with my calculations and how many slime I was going to need. And I am exactly one slime ball short. I am one slime ball short of the exact amount of slime that I need. So let's, let's just say... Imagine if this this place down here decided to just work. What if it just worked? Also, if you're wondering why my voice sounds weird, I have mad allergies today. My allergies are not doing well. Okay, empty and empty. Yikes. This place is like my home after dad left. 
for legal reasons? That's a joke. All right, take two. We're going to check this slime farm area and see if maybe while I was over at my base, it decided to, you know, spawn in some some slimeroonies, some some slime roosters, some some slimes, please. And we're back to doing this again. All right, please just give me a slime. Is that is that one single slime? Did the did the game just spawn me one single baby slime? If that's one slime ball, bruh. All right, the game is toying with me. I at least wanted to get some extras. You know, you could have spawned me a big slime so I could have some like backup slime to actually, you know, just in case I screw up the farm in any way. But no, no, Minecraft's like, no, no slime for you. But you know what? That's okay. We now have the final slime so I can quickly get to building the brand new concrete duplicator inside of the end portal room. All right, here we are. <laughs> so much time has passed, but here we are. We have it. We have the official sand duplicator. So boom, we have each of these four things right here that you place whatever type of block you want on the slime, whether it be sand, gravel, concrete in this case, whatever. And then you turn them all on and all four of these will start duplicating. Over here, I built myself a chunk loader, this little beautiful thing right here that will allow me to keep this area loaded. So that way when I'm in the end, I can just keep collecting and the game doesn't actually stop this from working while I'm in the end dimension because otherwise this dimension will not be loaded in. And then I built a collection area in the end itself and we are, we are ready. I'm really excited for this. I have waited so long. So first we're gonna do dark green. We're gonna do lime green since these will be the two blocks I need the most of. I'm gonna need a ton of lime green, a ton of dark green. We're gonna do black. I really don't need a ton of black, but I will need, you know, should I do black right now or should I focus on the greens? Because I really don't need a ton of black. You know, maybe instead of doing the black, I will need a lot of the light gray though. So we'll do light gray. Maybe what we'll do is just do more of the lime green because I only need the black for the face. So I actually really don't need that much and like a couple of other details for like the feet. So we're gonna do more lime green because we can do as much of this as we want. We can just come back here whenever we need. And we are good to go. I'm scared. I'm genuinely scared this is not going to work. All right, let's turn it on. Okay, that looks to be working. That looks to be working. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so excited. That looks to be working, right? Dude, this is so cool. Where's the lever? Put it on the wrong side. And boom. All right, all four sides are working. We're going to jump in here. Let's go. And then we just come in here and it just fills up. Look at it go! It's already a half a stack of lime. Okay, there's endstone in there and... Okay, we already got a stack each, dude! Oh my god! And now I just sit here and I just AFK. And I just do this for as long as I want. And I have infinite resources. Infinite. So I'm gonna sit here, do this for a bunch until we kind of fill up a couple of these chests, you know? The goal is to maybe fill up to like here or so of these. And then what we'll do is we'll come... We'll go take a big trip back to the house dump off all those resources and then we'll come back here and duplicate the black and some white i really don't need much of black or white which is why i didn't really do those yet i will need them for the tnt and then i'll also need to do the red as well when i get to the tnt block on top but for now i get to stand here and just get sand this is so cool this is this is so cool i am really excited to continue this project so now that my farm was fully functional i spent the next five or so hours straight afking while totally not playing the new modern warfare remake as i was destroying people's kds this bad boy printed concrete powder like mad in fact this thing worked so fast that i had to make like five or so trips all 
all the way to the end portal and back to my base just to collect all of the resources. But finally, I was now prepared to build the creeper farm. All right, so here we are back at my base with all of these chests laid out. Each one of them is full to the brim of all the different concrete powders. We got the light greens, the grays, we got the blacks, we got uh, the dark greens. We got a lot of green. I got so much green. And then over here, we also have some red. And I think I made a lot more red than I needed. Then on top of that, we also have all of these, which have, you know, more gray, more white. White for the TNT, etc. Just some of them are empty, apparently. And yeah, we just have all the resources. So now we just need a place to build the actual creeper farm. And my idea was we're going to put it over here in the ocean. I'm thinking we build like a nice little round kind of island platform. And then boom, we can erect the great creeper farm slash statue. So now all I got to do is build it. Boom. We have ourselves a brand new platform. You know, you know, wait, wait a second, actually. Let's I'm going to fly over this and show you this because I I made it seem like it was a really quick thing. But like, look at this. Look at the sheer size of this platform. This is just to keep the measurements good for the creeper farm. The creeper farm is going to be huge. Look at it compared to that. That's my starter base. That's the creeper farm. This is massive. Also, by the way, this took like, uh, this took like four hours to do. This took like four hours. I almost broke my pickaxe three times. And if we go to statistics, not mobs, go to items. Uh, it's here somewhere. Stone is like stone bricks. I want stone bricks. I collected 15,600 stone. That's a lot. And then I've placed 14,000 or 13,000, whichever stone bricks, 13,000. This project, this circle was 11,000 stone bricks. But yeah, now that we have it, I can build the creeper farm. The first thing we're going to do is put together the actual legs and make a collection area inside of the legs. I've actually got it all built out in a creative world that is kind of just like my dumping ground for ideas for this build. And I'm thinking I'm going to have the creeper farm face this way because that's going to be the future location of my super base. So like, imagine this in a world where this entire area from like there all the way to there, this whole platform is just level right? And I build a super base right here, build some other stuff over there, other stuff over here, something in the water. And then I was thinking of building myself a structure here for my villagers. Only thing is I was hoping for an ocean monument, but I thought there was one over here. It turns out there is not. There is no ocean monument over here. Unless I missed it. I don't know. That'll be a future video idea. For now, we just have small little like areas and stuff. But yeah, Operation Creeper Farm is officially a go. Everything is done. Platform in place. Resources collected. We are ready to finally build this behemoth. All right, so I laid out this kind of area that is going to be the overall size of the creeper, if that makes sense. So this is the longest side. This is going to be front facing. It's going to face over there. And then these are the actual sides. I use the center point of two by two blocks because uh, this whole like platform is centered based in increments of two since it's going to be even. And now I just have to figure out how I'm going to make the perimeter for the bottom of the legs. I'm going to be here a minute. All right, we should be good here. We have our first set of legs right here. This is a 48 long by 24 wide. I made sure to count them, triple checked, just in case. So we have 48 long by 24 wide, first pair of legs. We have the gap in the middle, which is 24 blocks. So that way we have the body that sits up top. And then we have, sorry, this entire area is gonna be the body. And then we have the other pair of legs that are identical at 48 blocks long and 24 wide. I have a whole word document full of all these measurements that I've been doing because I want to be very precise not to mess things up. If I screw up in any way here, it is going to become living hell to fix. But yeah, things are going well. All right. So now that I have this area situated, there's a couple of things we're going to have to do. One, I need to make an entrance. So the entrance can either be at the beginning, like in the middle of the creeper's legs, or I could do it in the side area where like there's that there's going to be a gap here anyways, or I could put it in the side of the legs. I kind of want to put it directly in the middle of the legs so I can make like a cool path that goes around. That's why I gave myself all this extra space for like trees and stuff to make nice paths. However, I'm going to still have this area, but the idea is the collection chamber will be up here 
and go into right about here. And then this room is going to be all collection. There's going to be a wall of chests because my goal is to make this creeper farm so unbelievably busted and cracked that it produces a metric ton of gunpowder. And obviously for now, I'm going to have to build another sky AFK area similar to that because I've not cleared out the caves inside of this area yet. So until I actually clear out the caves, that's just going to be a thing. But for now, we need dark green and we need black. And the black actually has to be turned into... Where's all the black? So let's take... Here we go. That's probably enough of the black. Now we'll take mortise in case. I have done this so many times moving these resources back and forth that uh, it's it's becoming more difficult. Like, you know when you do the triple click thing where you hold shift, triple click to move all of something? It's really easy until you do it like a hundred times in a row. And then you start screwing it up and you're like, wow, why am I screwing that up? Okay, so we need two buckets of water now for an infinite water pool. Uh, I'm going to use these lava buckets. We're just going to go oop and yeah, well, that's fine. Ooh. And just in case dumb me decides he wants to walk over top of this, we're going to put those there. So <laughs> it's me proof. Look at that. It's some water and we're good to go. All right. So we have our original infinite water source here. And then over here, we're going to build our like water pool. The reason why I'm making them separate is just in case I screw up and destroy like a water source, then I don't have to replace it. It is not my problem. And then we can kind of just go like this and like this, and then I can place them in the middle just like so let's get the first stack and let's test it out play something like that and okay that that didn't work if i'm in the water i'm gonna get pushed there we go gamers i got it. i got it down to a system easy peasy i just gotta be careful when i run out of blocks to not accidentally break a hole in the wall or in the floor there we go first stack not that bad unfortunately i'm gonna have to do that for a bunch of blocks i need to do it for some of the lime concrete and a decent amount of the black i don't think i need a though luckily so all right so now is the fun part i get to build the feet so essentially each pixel on a creeper is represented by six by six a six by six area so here i have the front set of the creepers feet there's six across and they will be six up which will be the first pixel there's essentially two rows of these black and green tiles and then on top are the lighter colors that we will also do however i still have this area right here marked as the center because i'm thinking about adding like some kind of entrance here like i don't i don't want to put it to the side because i don't think it's going to work to the side so i'm thinking maybe like if i do an entrance it could be i don't even know what to build it out of i guess for now i can build it out of these thing is i got to be careful because if i place any blocks above it that are sand and i break anything underneath they're all just going to fall down and ruin all of my work all right so this is kind of the conclusion i came to for the entrance i'm thinking what i will do is i'll do it kind of like this so i made some of those into concrete blocks and then we have the blacks on that side and i'll just keep it kind of like that and that's going to be the entrance is this big open little entrance area so we can come in here and see the huge factory we got going on it works there is going to be a big gap in the front of the creeper's feet but think of him as like missing a toenail or something you know it's like your creepy uncle roger i don't know why uncle roger's the first thing that came to mind okay i'm sorry uncle roger but it's it's like your creepy uncle it's like what, what's a creepy uncle name N nathaniel how about nathaniel that's kind of that's kind of how it's gonna go but for now we're gonna fill up i guess the entire front of the foot and we'll see kind of how it's how it's going All right, so here we are. We have finished 
the legs it uh it took a lot longer than you would actually think and um size wise it's safe to say that these legs are considerably larger than my current uh house so yeah look at look at them they're ridiculous they're actually ridiculous i am really happy with how this is turning out though so i have the top area i put stone underneath so that way all of the uh powders don't fall and then i have this kind of outline for the middle so the idea is i can do one of two things here i can either make these concrete blocks or i could just use more stone and put the stone underneath it uh but this is where the actual base of the creeper farm is going to go and that's what we're going to do now now i'm going to build the actual center kind of area i need to find the exact location here put a center kind of collection area and then have the hoppers run over into here and then at the bottom of this is going to be all of the chests so essentially i could just walk in here and then from the roof all the way you know actually wait a second that's really high up hold up i was gonna have it so it was like chests all the way down but like is that even a good idea how should i even do this this room is so much larger than i had thought it was gonna be wow all right so i don't know exactly how i'm gonna build the collection area yet but I was getting some wood because I'm inevitably going to need some. And uh, I've got some friends just hanging out over here. And this gives me an opportunity that I don't think I'm going to take. I could kill these guys. I could get bad omen. And we could make it. We could do a raid. However, I, I don't think I want to do a raid right now. Especially not in my own base area. Because I could, you know, ravagers can cause a lot of damage. I could lose a lot of villagers, which are very important to me right now. But at the same time, you know, if I had a beacon, I, I would totally do it. I just don't think doing raids at your base without a beacon make makes much sense only problem is i want his banner i want to get this guy's oh they're just looking at me they're not even coming up to me they're just they're just staring at me are they are they stuck are you stuck step pillagers ow um i don't know what to do about you i can't really i can't really kill you Ooh, what do we have here i know there's a cave down there Ooh, i'm just gonna leave you over here i guess i don't have any lava on me so sorry dude just like dad i'm leaving i'm not getting milk there will be no milk wow he really managed to follow me what if i made a boat and trapped him would he despawn let's make a boat let's let's make a boat and we can just keep him for later that that doesn't sound right don't take that out of context my guy you do no damage to me in the boat in the boat dummy i'm pretty sure he won't despawn and if i if i remember right i think the more times they shoot you eventually their crossbow will break because they'll lose their ability and they're just like a dumb banner guy stuck in a boat but for now he can enjoy his new home next to this wolf don't shoot the wolf all right so i've got a basic idea for what i want here so this is the exact center four blocks i built up from the center point of the actual entire circle down there which is what i also centered the rest of the creeper off of and essentially i don't want this to stick out below but i'm not quite sure how i stop it from doing that i do have an idea and that is gonna cost me a lot of hoppers but you know what that is the exact reason why i'm gonna make an iron farm soon so we're gonna make ourselves as many hoppers as i can right now i can always make more chests too but 11 should be fine for now and essentially this farm is not going to be centered which is fine so we're gonna have our main down facing one there then we're gonna have one going into it we're gonna have one going into that i really i want to keep this center point though let me let's build up a few just so we have that just so we have like that as a point of reference we have center one then we have you 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 and then you 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 so these will all push into these which will push into those and into this one this is the then center and this is going to be where the actual killing takes place and then after that we're going to build down one and this is where things are going to get a little complicated we're gonna have to put one like that oh man why did i do this to myself we're gonna have to put one like that so that one goes into that one this one goes into that one or we'll patch these up double check make sure good and then these are gonna go over into here and this is unfortunately i'm gonna have to make all of these into hoppers i know this is extremely inefficient but the only reason i am actually doing it like this is for the sake of keeping this whole thing a creeper i don't want this to stand out too much so i guess we're gonna go boom 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 absolutely destroy all all of my iron reserves so now we have our collection pad that then leads over to here and then under <laughs> underneath this it gets better we have this area so we're gonna do we'll probably do like one more break this and then this one is gonna start going down into a system of chests this is where things get a little fun i guess you could say to be honest this is probably one of the dumbest ways i've ever used resources before actually having resources but we're gonna start building straight down here okay so these will start going straight down there 
Or put that down there. Unfortunately, I can't use a water bucket to get down because it will ruin all of the concrete powder and turn them into concrete. And I have already had that happen and I'm not interested in doing that again. All right, I thought this was kind of funny. I went into a creative world to test out what this was going to look like. And I kind of came to this solution. I had some other ideas where I could like, you know, make it go into like a minecart with a hopper that goes back and forth, depositing into all kinds of rows of chests. But honestly, I think that's overcomplicated for no reason. And then I would have to constantly listen to the sound of the minecart, which not a big fan of. So I kind of came up with this. It's nothing too complicated, really. It just goes down into this chest, which then splits off into this chest and this chest. And then those chests dump into two different hoppers that go this row goes into these and then this row right here of hoppers goes into this chest and the same for this one so essentially i think this side gets priority based on what i dumped in here so like i put like a whole bunch of like random blocks in here and if you go all the way down here so far this side is getting priority so i'm thinking what will happen is this will fill up first and then this will fill up for actually maybe yeah maybe this will fill up first this will fill up first and this whole side will fill then it will go to this side and essentially it's going to be a lot bigger since it'll go all the way down from the roof and then if i want to have like access areas inside for example i could do something like maybe you know like throw like these here and put like some ladders or something i could do like ladders like that so i could always climb up and go oh let's get my stuff out of up here i could put ladders there i could put ladders on the wall like right here in the back of the creeper wall you know we'll figure it out the idea is that this thing will never fill up and i can just keep letting it go because in the past my creeper farm would always fill up and it was pretty small this one is going to be huge All right, it's kind of a mess, but just a couple more chests and boom. I actually went ahead and expanded the area a bit. So I added this extra layer of chests in the center that actually comes from a middle hopper underneath the hopper that's at the very top. So then we have this row, three rows in the center, another row over there, and then obviously the top chests and stuff. Um, fun fact though, I have such a little amount of wood, that's what she said, and no iron that I, this is as much as I can do. This is as much of a collection area as we kind of get. Honestly, I'm just going to leave this cobble or this stone brick here. So that way we can always just come back up here and get our stuff. And then we'll add more underneath as time goes on. But over time, the goal is, you know, we have this go all the way down there and I could even expand it a bit, right? So I could have some of these good chests that go down and then have chests that go out further. But for now, this should be plenty. But for now, this should be pretty much all that we actually need this should be plenty okay just before a disaster happens we're gonna cover up that area and then we have this so the idea is none of these will actually be visible they're all gonna be uh inside of the main creeper so this wall right here is going to be the body of the main creeper so we have this collection area and then we're gonna go all the way up the creeper worth of farm areas for each floor of creepers i know i said the word creeper a lot there but you know you get the point all right so now that we have our collection area we're gonna build up two blocks and we're gonna create a perimeter around this area that is going to stop the creepers from getting out now for this farm i am using a little bit of a reference from a farm from uh shulkercraft however i'm kind of going to switch it up a little bit here since the dimensions don't really work out for inside of this creeper so it is going to be custom but i will leave a link in the description below if you guys do want to go and watch his video on it i do know that he's also not the one who actually made this farm he got it from one of his viewers so I just wanted to give credit where credit was due just to, you know, have it in the video. All right. And just like that, we should have the first floor of the creeper farm done. So we have the collection area right there that goes through the wall and down into here, which I did not light up, by the way. And I know there is a creeper here. If I break this block, there is something down there. There was last time I saw it. So we're going to just casually give it a torch. We're going to give that a torch. But yeah, we have our center area in the middle here. 
that has 16 of these dudes. Oh, you, you can't actually see them, but there are 16 snow golems there. And those 16 snow golems are going to be aggroing creepers by throwing things at them because uh, snow golems want to see the world burn. And then if we go up here, we have our trap doors. So that way the inside is exactly, it's like 1.8 blocks tall, something like that. Because creepers are the only one of the mobs besides spiders that can spawn under two blocks. So they could spawn in there. And then because we have our slabs everywhere, spiders cannot spawn. And the idea is this area is going to become a further drop zone for the next layer. I'm going to build as many of these layers as I can fit. Although first, just to make sure everything's working, we're going to set up the killing area down there so it actually kills them and we're gonna test this bad boy out as the sun goes down if the sun's going down oh man i really gotta build that fast then okay so i've got a bit of a problem i only had enough soul soil to craft eight campfires and i need nine and okay there's no mobs up here yet for now i'm just scared this thing's gonna okay hey guys how is it going what's okay yeah it's um i might just have to wait until the next day to do this all the mobs are kind of spawning underneath what is why are they hurting each other what oh it's working i don't think they're supposed to be hurting each i don't i know they don't actually do any damage but that creeper is not oh there he goes okay okay it's it's working that's i think that's why all the creepers are down there yeah let's uh let's just um let's go for now we're gonna we're gonna go, we'll come back, and I guess we have to go make a quick quick trip to the nether to get another piece of soul soil. All right, it is another beautiful day in Minecraft, and up there is a living nightmare, so we're not gonna go up there. All right, so first things first, we have to go through the nether and get us a couple pieces of soul soil. Let's hope no hogs come and beat us up. I could just fly with the elytra, but I've only got one totem of- Okay, I've only got one totem of undying, and I don't really want to risk it yet. This biome is way too dangerous for that. All right, boom, this is soul soil, right? Wow, that was- really fast perfect got soul soil we are good to go back all right so now that we are back in the overworld i can make one more soul campfire and very carefully i hope nothing is in here very carefully we can go boop 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 and boop and these soul campfires will burn all the creepers and because the blocks are transparent these hoppers can still pick up the blocks from beneath them versus if i had used magma blocks like i used to you would then need a hopper in a minecart to pick them up this way i don't have to waste as much iron and it's just a cleaner and honestly kind of satisfying to look at thing look at how beautiful those fires look i love soul fire it is so pretty but yeah now we pretty much just wait for nighttime since uh i can't close off these side parts during the day because this is where the edge of the build for the creeper will go that's the reason why i haven't closed off either of these ends but essentially we're good to wait till nighttime test this bad boy out and if it works we can start building the overall creeper body that will go way up in the air and add as many of these as i can fit although it is really really expensive wood and stone wise so getting enough resources for these is gonna be a trip so now that my plan was all coming together and all i had to do was wait for nighttime instead of just sitting around wasting the day i decided to tend to a couple of things around my base I harvested all of the sugarcane that I had planted by the beachside so I could keep up with my firework needs. And after that, I tended to the other crops and animals around my base. All right, so the sun is coming down and I'm kind of concerned about other mobs spawning here since I didn't really light anything up yet because I didn't want this to look kind of weird. I know that ever since like 1.17, you can get away with lighting stuff up less, but I still just, I don't want things to spawn over here and cause me problems. And then over here is also dark. So yeah, it's going to be really difficult to test to see if this actually works, but we're going to find out. I think if I stand over here, I should be fine. I'm just worried the light of the torches is going to affect the spawns. Wait, bruh, this spider just spawned on top. Oh, 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 get him, get him. Get the spider. Yeah, this is a no spider zone here, boy. Get out of here. Look at that spider get demolished. This KD is getting wrecked, dude. Yeah, uh, the conclusion I've come to is that I think this works. There was creeper. There were creepers that had spawned in here. Uh, the reason why they're not spawning now is because I'm too low to the ground. So like everything else is, you know, spawning. Like look down there. There's like two creepers, zombie, zombie, skeleton, whatever. Wow, they're, they're just going to keep going because that spider's not going to be able to get out of there. What? Why did you... Why did you do this to yourself, man? My guy. But yeah, this is a good. This is good. This is good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start building up a. Yeah, you see the point I'm trying to make here. I didn't think. I didn't think this testing phase through. Look, oh, 
sir. Yeah, so we got creepers to spawn up there because the edges were not lit up. We got these guys down here and nothing spawning in there because there's still light from the edges and the torches. So it spawned directly on top of them. I really hope they don't shoot. Let's, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep before this becomes a problem. If that creeper gets shot by them, it's going to blow up and kamikaze them all. And I'm going to lose all my progress. So let's go over here and go to sleep. And then we're going to get back to building the body of the creeper and the rest of the farm, I guess. All right, so here we are kind of with a lot of progress going on. I have the entire body built in the center. And as you can see, there's trees everywhere. And there's a good reason for that. But first, let's get a quick fly around just to see, just to see how nice this turns out. Like, just look at it. It's a giant creeper. I mean, obviously it's a giant creeper, but like, come on, that is cool. That is really cool. Once the head and the TNT are on there, it is going to look amazing. So now that this part is pretty much complete, there's a couple of things that I wanted to mention. This took so, so long. It is literally day 286 right now. This video has taken me almost 200 days, the length of two 100 days videos to complete. So if you do enjoy this video, please subscribe because I'm on the way to 1 million subscriberinos and every subscriber matters. Anyways, though, I thought I'd, you know, show this off a bit. So as you can see here, my FPS is now hell. It's dropping under 60. And there's a good reason for that. This thing in the center is the creeper farm. I added this here. And this is the reason why this whole structure is so big, because I want it to be proportional. There is, I think, like 12 layers there. I think there's about 12 layers here that go all the way down. In the center of each of them, there is a set of snow golems that lure all the creepers in. And let me just say, this part right here is why this took so long. This middle part is full of both slabs and trapdoors like tons of slabs and trapdoors so i had to mine lots of trees which is i mean why there's trees all over it but anyways this thing is already producing like crazy so you can kind of see every once in a while you can see the animations of snowballs of course there's none right now but just while building this which is the most inefficient time because i'm all around it and i'm not up in the air so mobs will spawn you know wherever they feel like this thing is already producing crazy stonks originally i intended on having that set of farms in the center go all the way up into the creeper head but honestly i think i've already built enough and i think my fps oh you can hear them you can hear all the creepers dying i think my fps is already struggling enough while around this build so i think we're good on that but just look at this one double chest two double chests almost three this was like halfway like a couple of minutes ago. well okay like 20 minutes ago this thing is cracked it's not even at its full efficiency yet so as you can see that's why i have this chest way up here we're gonna go all the way to the ground with that and we're gonna absolutely fill up all of these chests so yeah this farm is turning out great there's still a bunch of things we do have to do i decided on the edges there to go with a kind of subtle regular concrete my original plan was to use like string or something to hold it up however i i don't like the idea of string i think string is too risky like what if those things just fall and the string breaks somehow and every single piece that is a powder just falls i would actually be devastated because this took like I said, a long time. This is legit taking me a whole week of like actual grinding. Like I, I kid you not, the amount of times I've had to like repair my elytras and my pickaxe, you get the point. And then going through all the fireworks just to keep flying up and down. This thing is honestly turning out well. Now that we have all of this structure going for us, we could at any time add extra layers inside of the farm. However, for now, there's a couple of things left we have to do. So first we have to add the head. Honestly, not as bad as it sounds, but I I had to fix that as well. Ignore that. That's not there. We don't we don't talk about that. Not as bad as it sounds, but I do have to have it stick out around the edges a bit, which means I have to make some more concrete that I can do something like that with. And I think I'm going to put those underneath so that way it doesn't look bad. And then after that, we have to put the TNT block on top of that. And then the actual farm itself is done. After that, we then go down into here where we can turn this room into something that is a lot more presentable with a lot more storage, like an obnoxious amount of storage. Honestly, the goal here is that by the time the end of this episode's done, I have enough gunpowder that we can go to the nether and blow up an obnoxious amount of TNT for the next episode and get full netherite. That's right. All of my tools, all of my armor, 
netherite. And even, you know, we could even make some lodestones and we could make some netherite blocks for a beacon, maybe. As if I'm going to get that much because netherite is absolute hell to get. But you know what I mean? After the farm part is done, then I can turn this whole island into a nice area with some grass, with trees, with different paths along the way. And I'm thinking I'll probably do a bridge from here to there, but probably not right now because I don't know what I'm going to do over there when I do get around to building a base. So we'll figure that out. But honestly, this build is turning out so nice. Like if you've been around in the channel for a while, then you will know what this creeper build means to me because I had one in my original hardcore world that was nothing like this. This looks so cool. This is like a real three-dimensional creeper. Okay, right uh, um, right now, it may be something a little more phallic than a 3D creeper. And now that I mentioned it, everyone in the comments is going to talk about it. You know what? That's okay. But anyways, now that we have this all ready to go, let's get to building the creeper head. And honestly, this is probably going to take another couple of hours. So, Q montage. All right, so here we are after all this time. This project has taken me so much time, you will not believe. Look at how high up I am. Look at this. Finally, we have finished the final, sorry, the next to final part of the creeper build, the head. And now I have this little area built out. All we got to do is make the TNT block on top and we're pretty much good. But first, I thought I would show you all how magnificent this thing has turned out. Boom. Look at it. For some reason, the shaders are like making this weird shadow thing. I got to figure out how to fix. Uh, if you know how to fix that in the comments, let me know, please. I would love to fix that. But I did have this other thought that for the green parts, I could get frog lights inside of each green square. So that way this whole build would light up at night, which is going to be super cool. So now we have a couple of things that we have to do to finish this bad boy up. But first I wanted to show you guys the collection area. Oh, you could hear it again. I want to show you how much more this thing has. So I did some math, right? If I take this system of storage and go all the way to the ground, I should have roughly 180-ish chests. I want to build a lighting system inside of the farm so that way I can flick a switch and turn it on or off so it doesn't lag my game. However, however, one chest, two chest, three chest, four chest, five chest, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is this one fill? Uh-oh. Wait. Where's... Where's the other gunpowder going? Uh, we have a problem. Gunpowder's full. Gunpowder's full. Gunpowder's full. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I figured it out. Hold up. Let's get some blocks. Let's build up here. Okay, so this one is filling up now, right? This chest right here is filling. Why is it? Oh, yeah, I see. Okay, so in order of operations, once this chest fills up, then it should go to this chest and then it will go to this. So once this is full, wow, that kind of sucks actually because that means this entire storage system does not work that well and I had to fill an entire side before, you know, it's okay. It's okay. Once this chest is full, it'll start filling these. Once these are full, then it will start filling these. And then once they're full, it'll fill these. Weird order, I know, but it works. And the point is I have a lot of gunpowder. I already have enough for like a ton of TNT. I almost just fell. So this farm is working heavenly. I am so happy with this. However, now we need to get something together to build the TNT on top so we can finish off the farm. And it just so happens to be, I have the perfect thing in mind for the top area. So I actually have quite a few resources that I had gathered. Honestly, like I said before, I gathered way too many of these. However, we do have red. So we have red concrete powder. We have, I believe, red concrete that would also make it. I need red terracotta, which is something I have to go get. And then I need red wool, which is why 
I have this stack of poppies that I conveniently found over at my nearby area. I don't know why, but this field over here is just full of red flowers. There's like, look at this. There's so many red flowers. So I grabbed myself a bunch of poppies and we're actually going to make our sheep population red. But first we got to take care of a couple of, uh, of, you know, just strays. Make you red. Sorry, man. Very crunchy though. Very crunchy sheep today. Boop, boop. Boop and crunch and crunch and crunch. I'm sorry. You guys just somehow got out and one of you killed one of my pumpkin stems. So are there more of you? What is this like classic YouTube prison escape? Come on, get out of here. Here to you. Here to you. No more sheep. Sheep gone. What sheep? There's no sheep. And now it is time to quickly turn all of these guys red. All right. So <laughs> I did not get all the sheep red. There's a lot of sheep. This is interesting. And I did not get them all red, but it's okay. This should be plenty of wool. I've been breeding the sheep along the way as I was working on the creeper. So that way we were prepared for this moment. And now we just go clip, 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 clip. Get as much red wool as we can. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just sit here and continue to re-harvest the sheep as I'm building the TNT block because I don't really want to wait here for like two hours to get all these sheep. And I also don't want to make an auto farm I'm not trying to make a million farms just for this TNT thing. Especially since it's, you know, it's already done. Like, the farm works. It's functional. However, how it is now, it will fill up very quickly. So, I need to also get more chests. But for now, let's just get as many of the resources as we can into our inventory, and we'll be good to go. All right, so I got together these shulkers. We have our red concrete powder. More red concrete powder. We have red wool. We need a lot more red wool. That's going to be what's holding us back here. We have black concrete powder and white concrete powder. So essentially, we'll mostly need white concrete. We will need, I think, all black concrete. I don't think we need any black concrete powder. We will need red wool for some of the parts, the details, red concrete powder, and then red concrete. And then there's one last thing I actually am going to need, and that is going to be red terracotta. And I, I don't even think you can't make, I don't even have the recipe. We have to go find, we have to go find a badlands biome. And I think I actually do know of one nearby. All right. So it wasn't that long of a trip, but I did find the exact area I need. And look at this red terracotta. I don't, exactly know how much i need so i'm looking to get about a shulker box full so i did bring myself a spare shulker and we're just gonna go ham get me some red terracotta beautiful this is actually one of the first times i've ever built with terracotta by the way i have never actually used terracotta before anyways let's get ourselves an entire shulker box full Ooh, that was a lot of mining. Let me tell you, without a beacon, mining terracotta takes forever. But we do now have an entire shulker box full of red terracotta, along with my pickaxe that has almost been broken probably, I would say a solid 20 so times in this video alone. But now that we have everything that we need to build the TNT, we are good to go back home and get started on the final part of this long, long project. All right, so here we are back home, back on top of our creeper. And I have the image of the reference that I built in a creative world pulled up beside me right now. And I realized something a little, a uh, little, just a little silly, a little quirky, a little like relatable. Um, So it turns out that for each side of the TNT, I need a total of eight red terracotta, meaning that I need a total for all four sides of 32 red terracotta, half a stack. And I just spent my entire day Okay, it was like it was like an hour. It was like like 40 minutes getting an entire shulker box full of red terracotta. I need more red wool than I need red terracotta. Why did I do this to myself? You know what? It's okay though because we've we've kind of got we've got everything we need. Minus wool, you know, we need lots more wool, but I mean, I probably should have been prepping for that way sooner than I have been, but you know what? Why are these even in here? We we don't we don't talk about that, you know? We don't we don't talk about how disorganized I have been on the side of this project. All right, so we've got everything kind of laid out here, and now there's a couple of things that I need to do in preparation for this. So first up, we're gonna need a couple of stacks of black concrete. Not a ton, since after all, we're just spelling out the words TNT. We're gonna need a decent amount of white concrete, and we're gonna need ourselves a whole bunch of red concrete. Meaning I will also need to take a shulker box that is not 
full of stuff, which... Okay, this one. And we're going to head on down to our quick little AFK farm. Actually, I need to repair my pickaxe first. So fun fact, towards the beginning part of this video, I was trading with my villagers consistently to repair tools for XP, right? Well, it turns out since that bug that I had mentioned for 1.18 was so like bad for my villagers that a lot of them started raising their prices well beyond the normal amount that villagers would normally raise their prices. So, uh, yeah. This is, this is how I've been doing it now. I just come up here, I AFK for a little bit, switch my weapon to my offhand, slash a couple of mobs, until my pickaxe is repaired. So, that's what I'm going to sit here and do for a bit. Alright, now that my pickaxe is pretty much good, at least as good as I want it to be, because I don't feel like waiting any longer. Let's go down to our little farm area and get all of the concrete that we needed. Just look at how beautiful this thing is. Look at look at how good this turned out. I know it's just a giant creeper, but it's my giant creeper and it's really, really freaking cool. I am so happy with how it turned out. All right, so now that we're here, I don't know if I showed this off before, but it's really simple. All you gotta do is place all of your concrete powders in there, then take one of them and hold it in your offhand. Stand right about here and right click and also left click. And then you just press F3 and T, it reloads and you are infinitely left clicking and right clicking. And boom, I just sit here and make lots of concrete. Although the concrete uh, breaks easier than like other blocks. So it is quicker to destroy your pickaxe this way. I do warn you, if you're gonna do this at home, do not AFK too long here without paying attention to your screen, or you might come back to not having a pickaxe. Almost happened to me, like twice now. All right, so I went ahead and I got some red concrete. I didn't do the white or the black yet because I think it is raining. That is great. Let's not make it rain because it absolutely fries any video recording. And it's not nighttime yet. All right, rain is gone. And now I'm realizing something. I was actually looking at the wrong image that I had is I'm basing this off of an old build from my original hardcore world where I'm making it bigger and more improved. That one was only 16 blocks wide. This bad boy is 32 wide. So basically on each side, we're going to start out with six on the bottom. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I do two red concrete. Then one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we just repeat the process all the way to the end. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then finally one and two, two. Got it. And basically this is going to be the kind of makeup of each side of the block of TNT. It's going to look kind of like this. This will be each little portion. I actually just took a regular block of TNT and I referenced it and used all the individual pixels to kind of decide on how this should look. Okay, so now that we got these, each of these are gonna be too high. So this is kind of where my lack of red wool is really gonna hurt me because majority of this build is actually red wool for the red parts. Well, I wouldn't say majority, but a good portion of it is is actually red wool. So that's a little, little bit of a problem. All right, so fun fact, uh, apparently my last video was 660 gigabytes of recording data. And because of that, I got cut off midway through the last clip and I lost a bit of recording. That's okay. We got this part right here done. This is one of the first four segments on each side. So essentially, this is how it's going to look at the bottom part of the TNT. We'll have one of these here. We'll have two more of them right here. And then they will be all the way around this entire block. Then we will have the white band in the middle that says TNT. And then we'll have another similar band on top that is red. And that's pretty much it. I, I still don't need that much terracotta, even though this is bigger. I basically need eight pieces of terracotta on each section instead of two, which still does not warrant an entire shulker box. But you know what? We have this for the future. So let's just go ahead and build this area real quick, and we'll see how it looks. All right, there we go. And just like the theme of everything else in this video, this took longer than I anticipated because the sheep just didn't want to stop being naked. I mean, I feel them, but at the same time, I needed their resources. Also, around the edges, because the texture works differently than when I'm placing blocks, it kind of does this. I could have fixed it by adding like an extra layer here and going there on both sides, but I, uh, it was kind of too late for that. I didn't really think that through very well. So instead we kind of have like a little bit of a cut up close. It looks kind of annoying, but when you look at it from a distance, you really don't notice it. Like, like look at that little corner right there. You really don't notice it. And then 
If you go to like this side over here, I think this one's actually worse. This one looks a bit worse, but you still really don't notice it. Like it's just a block of TNT. And basically, I already went ahead and got myself a whole bunch of white concrete and black concrete. So now we just have to build the white and black section in the middle and then add another red one on top and boom, this TNT block is officially done. And boom, it is now beautified. So I took the liberties of turning all of, okay, I, I didn't just fall. I took the liberties of turning all of the path areas into these nice little segmented bits of like nature. So we got like some trees, we've got foliage, we've got nice lights in there. And this one, I even add a nice little like pond with some sugarcane. Under here, I don't quite know what to do with yet, so I'm probably going to leave it for now. I was thinking about adding like a sugar cane inside of this this leg. Like I could do like a big sugar cane farm to make the paper so that we can make fireworks, you know, as gunpowder. And then for the paths, I was thinking maybe in the future, I could turn them into like maybe deep slate or something. Add some nice lanterns or lights inside of them. Just make them look nicer. But for now, this turned out pretty nice. It's actually pretty basic if you think about it. It's kind of just fences little paths in nature. I just got a bunch of dirt and grass, built up some nice little plains area, put a bunch of trees in, put all kinds of grass and flowers with a uh, bone mill. Nothing, nothing too crazy. And this, making this path was not easy. This was so difficult, it was unreasonable. So uh, fun fact, I started this project quite a while ago, right? I had this area ready to have all this foliage added in like October of last year. You may be wondering, where have I been since, you know, I, I haven't uploaded on the channel in like three months. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get to upload for last year because I had a lot of cool videos planned. But short TLDR of it is I ended up getting COVID. I got long COVID, I guess. I don't know. I was sick for like a month and a half straight, right? I was sick for so long and I could not talk. I lost my voice and then I got better for a little bit, right? After getting better for about a week in like, God, it was like November, I ended up taking a bit of a break to recover because I was constantly tired. Is there a traitor on top of my beautiful TNT block? What do you have? Oh, wow, look at this guy. Acacia, birch, dark, and spruce, and melon. If this was like a, like an ocean world or something, I would have been so happy. However, it's not, so goodbye. Natural selection. Ah! Ah! Oh god! Oh. Natural selection. Natural selection. I'm good. I'm good. But yeah. Anyways, back to the story. I got sick. I got COVID. I took about a week in between to heal. And I started getting, like, really bad pain in my teeth afterwards. Well, it turns out my wisdom teeth that I've been having problems with for a while, they ended up needing to come out. So, I was, I was scheduled to get my teeth out. I kid you not, two days before Christmas. Two days before Christmas. And guess what happened? They told me if I feel like I might be getting sick to call them and we might have to reschedule or whatever. And I was like, you know, that's just a precaution. They got to make sure, right? Well, the night before, the day before, sorry, I felt like I was getting sick. So I called them and guess what? I'm pretty sure I got COVID again. I don't know, but I was sick through all of December and New Year's. And after that, in early January, a couple days ago, actually, okay, it's about a week ago now, I got my wisdom teeth out, all four of them. So if you're wondering why there's not been any uploads in the channel, that's that's where that is. And I decided to kind of just throw it into this video since I didn't want to make a video on its own for it because it wasn't really Among Us. Among Us? Sorry, I, I didn't... I didn't really want to make it its own video. So just, just letting you guys know, I'm sorry, and I want to get more uploads out this year. I want to do a lot more this year than we did last year, and I appreciate you all for still being here. But anyways, this pretty much sets up our creeper farm. It's looking really good. As you can see here, it is looking phenomenal. This dark spot is bothering me. It's like a shader issue. I had to try to fix that. If you have any like guide for that, any way to fix it, I'd really appreciate anything in the comments. Because I just don't know. But anyways, now that we have our creeper farm fully decked out and functional, it's time to see how much gunpowder we have. I have this room, which is going to be a huge factory warehouse for the gunpowder. These chests are going to come all the way down. But right now, I don't have the resources. I need an iron farm for that. And we're not really dealing with that. However, what I do want to test out is how much gunpowder can this bad boy produce? You can actually hear the creepers right now. So during this entire time, I've been working on this project. This has been filling up. We have one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12? That doesn't seem right. Where Where is the other stuff going? Is there, is there chests in the middle? Are there 12? And then all of these? And then 13? Uh, I do this right? That's not full. That's definitely not full, which is good. So this side's full, that's right. Maybe I just, maybe it left off at a weird spot. I don't know. But we have 13 double chests full. And we go into, okay, yeah, here we go. Cool. So we go until here. This is the chest that is empty. We're going to put that here. And what we're going to do is we're going to build ourselves a sky area to AFK. And we're going to AFK for one full hour to see exactly how much gunpowder this bad boy can produce in an hour. This is going to be insane. I'm not quite sure where I should AFK even because I don't want to be too close to it since there are actually... Can I make it up here? Nope, definitely can't now. Okay, that's cool. Thanks. I need fireworks. Fireworks. You will not believe the amount of resources that I have gone through in this video to make this structure. All right, crisis averted. We got ourselves our fireworks. I think, so inside of the farm, the actual area is like right there where the farm itself stops. So I could probably just AFK on top of this TNT. What is the Y level? up here we are at 256 wow that's insane also don't look i know it is day 375 okay i have done a lot in this world i know i know it's it's an insane amount of time but let's just uh casually just uh yeet, yeet. sorry guys we're gonna do that and we're gonna build ourselves a nice little place to afk in the center area up here is there even a center? You know what? I kind of don't care if there is a center or not. We're just gonna, we're just gonna add one of these, right? You know, let's get some glass. Let's, let's make this nicer with glass. All right. It's kind of a weird little building and it's not centered, but here we go. And just to make sure I don't get killed by anything while AFK, I'm gonna live in style. You know what? Let's make it a whole little cozy cabin. Let's give myself a table un crafting that's... Definitely Spanish for crafting table. Do not ask someone who speaks Spanish that. Boom. Got a nice little bed. And boom. Crafting table. Look at that. Cozy little shack. And before the AFK commences, let's go down and re-clear that chest just to give ourselves a good starting point. I want that chest to have no gunpowder in it whatsoever. So that way we know exactly how much we get. Because we've got 21. And I, there's a bunch of creepers out there dying, so let's kind of wait for them to filter out. All right, we're at 50. I don't think this is going to stop because I think it just keeps, it's going to keep running because of how far down we are. So we're going to take everything that's in there and we're going to fly back up and we're going to start. All right, so here I am back up in here and we will start. Actually, let's put, let's put a chest piece on. Always put your chest piece on. Don't just stand around with your elytra in a hardcore world. You never know what's going to happen. Anyways, a one hour timer starts now all right it has been one full hour and conveniently enough it is also sunrise you know actually let's just make it daytime real quick there we go all good so let's go check to see exactly how much this bad boy produced i'm hoping that standing on top of the tnt was a good enough like position to be in that we could actually get ourselves the maximum spawns Ooh, i hear lots of creepy boys not something you typically would like to hear. All right, this is the chest that we stopped off at. Everything from here, we already had. What? Was I too high up? Are you telling me it is wasted an hour? I was too high up? I don't think any of these chunks were loaded. Oh no, oh no. So maybe we'll make like a spot like right here and we'll do like that. Let's like, this is stupid. This is so stupid. So we're gonna do, we're going to build over here, make another sky platform. We're going to build over here. We're going to make another sky platform. We're going to center it right there, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. Is this far enough away? We'll do it like right here. Right here seems far enough away. We're going to make another sky platform. And then I guess we're going to AFK for another hour. Yay! All right, it's now nighttime and raining, but I have my cozy little area here. Nice and safe from the outside. No phantoms, no rain. And I made this doorway 
I, I don't know why I made it like this, but like the chances of me eventually hitting a wall while trying to fly in here are pretty high. Let's be honest. But even with that, we got our little like platform. We're going to come down here and take a look to see if the actual farm is working. Because I want to see... Oh! Whoa! Oh! Just by being up there for like 10 minutes to make that, I feel half a chest. Oh, this is going to be so good. We're going to empty out this and make this our new starting point. And we're going to test to see just how many gunpowder this bad boy can produce in one full hour. All right, now this time for real, we have waited an hour and why are my dogs here? Okay, I guess you guys are going to sit up here, but like, I mean, I guess it rained a couple of times, maybe like a thunderstorm. Oh no, really hoping lightning did not like strike down here or something. Okay, you're still here. We're the ones that I named. Okay, there's no missing dogs that I know of. I don't, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go see how many resources this farm produced in one full hour. I am stoked to see this. I am so excited. I really hope it's not messed up this time. All right. One double chest. Two double chest. Is that it? No way. There's also the hopper. So, whoa. Almost just died to death. All right. So we do have the two chests plus nothing. That's odd. Where else would... I feel like I may have screwed up the sorting system. And maybe I was just overestimating it. So we got two chests full. And we also have two hoppers full. How do I get to that hopper? Okay. So two chests, a hopper, and this. That's how much gunpowder that this produced. Let's do some quick maths. All right, so after doing some quick math, this farm in one hour produced a total of 7,000... 390 gunpowder. 7,400. 7,400 in only an hour. And that's without updating it. I could add more layers to it. And I mean, that's an hour. Like on average, what are you going to need 7,000 gunpowder in more than an hour? That is in insane that means as i'm playing this world this thing will just be non-stop producing tons and tons of resources this is absolutely correct and that's also assuming that this is even a good spot right here for the afk platform maybe i messed up i don't think no mob shouldn't spawn down there i don't know maybe where i put the afk platform has something to do with it but either way 7400 gunpowder an hour is perfect and just like that this thing is done we have built a giant creeper farm in hardcore minecraft so yeah thank you all for watching this video took so 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 much work to do it took literal days of work like this was going on for weeks and then i got sick so it ended up not coming out for a couple of months i am sorry again that i didn't get any uploads out towards the end of last year i really wanted to have a lot going on on the channel and i had a lot planned and those things will still come out this year but but yeah if you did make it to the end of the video i really appreciate it you all are so amazing and i also just want to say a huge thank you to my patreons who help support the videos by going the extra mile if you do want to also help support the channel there will be a link to the patreon in the description down below you get your name on the screen as an extra thank you and you get access to all of my world downloads and future mod packs that i do have coming up very soon that you can play on and do whatever you want with on your own anyways this has been pain domination and i will see you all in the next video peace by the way if you are still here watching this then you definitely want to click on the video that you see on your screen right now and you definitely want to subscribe if you haven't yet if you don't subscribe a group of phantoms will stop you from sleeping for the rest of your life and will make sure you fail every single hardcore world you ever try to make so don't forget that